Yeah, whenever you want, Mark. All right, okay. All right, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all are listening to the Overseas Connection podcast. Shut up and sit down. Here we go. Would you come? I think we're just getting started. I'm a witcher. I think this is more than you can handle. He sits on his ass all day. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to episode 542 of your Overseas Connection podcast. Today is September 1st, 2019. And we are a video gaming podcast uh, with a slightly wiser, more mature theme to us, or at least we like to think. Uh, we broadcast every Sunday, 9 p.m. in the UK, 1 p.m. in the West Coast, 4 p.m. in the East Coast. And if you happen to live in the central time zone, we're sorry, but 3 p.m. there. Uh, <laughs> we are on Twitch. We're on Mixer. We're on YouTube. So just look for us. Uh, all you have to do is do a search for OC Podcast on one of those glorious channels, and you will find us live if you're lucky. Otherwise, you can watch a, a, a rehashed version of the show. Uh, my name is Greg DeLacy, OC underscore Murphy's Law, oh, Murphy's Law on uh, Xbox Live. And also to the greater podcasting population, I am also now known as Gavin, your driving instructor. <laughs> or the dude uh, on, I did, too. Yes. On <laughs> the show today. Did he ever get decks, found? I don't know. I haven't got that <laughs> no, far yet. No. Gavin, Gavin, outside of right here. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Jason from fucking Every Rain, isn't he? You never find him. Uh, spinning the decks effortlessly with no problems whatsoever, <laughs> Mr. Mark Wright. Oh. Yes, I, uh, hello, I, uh, I got the WD-40 out. I've cleaned all the rust off because I've not been on for a while. I've been a bit rusty. But yeah, I'm back after a few weeks. Three, Maybe three, maybe four, maybe five weeks. Can't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, I'm back. Fighting fit. Glad to be back. Excellent, yes. Better yeah. than ever. Yeah. yeah I, Almost better than ever. Uh, <laughs> on the show also, chiming in just now, very well done, Kim. Kim Woods on the podcast. Howdy, that's me, GamerGirl27. That's Twitch, that's Twitter, that's Xbox, some variation on PlayStation, you know. All right. And finally, rounding out this Baker's Dozen, we have Lucky13, <laughs> Mr. Pete Chin. Hello, everyone. Also known as the Legit Chin. Do you want to get me? I get you. I get yeah. you, Pete. Yeah. And you know what I also get, Pete? <laughs> well, I get the crap. fact that the beard is coming back. <laughs> Fear the beard. I'm going to shave tonight. No. Or tomorrow. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Sorry. All right. Okay. When you come for AGX, I'll make sure I'm all rustly and ready for you to stroke it. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Uh... Hey, you know what? Speaking of chins, not <laughs> double chins, but the That's double rough. mic chin, uh, your 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 body double, Pete, uh, in some way. <laughs> Mike Chin celebrating his uh, birthday this upcoming week, so we wanted to pour out one for good old Mike. We're sorry to see you getting older, Mike, but it happens to all of us. So, Mike, this song just for you. Oh shit! Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you caught me out there, you bastard. I don't even know what it is. Hang on. We are experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> congratulations and celebration. That's enough of that. And also, congratulations on his first wedding anniversary, which was yeah, a day or so right. ago. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna get me on back now, Greg. I'm gonna do a no, big we... close-up of your nostrils now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Happy birthday, Pete. Uh, sorry, Mike. Pete, Mike. <laughs> you son of a... Aren't you guys twins? Anyway, uh, also happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to my parents. They're going to be celebrating their anniversary tomorrow as well. I think it's like a nice. thousand years. They've been married forever, longer than I've yeah. known them. Do they do they still celebrate you or send each other cards or? I think so. Do they? No, That's, uh... Yeah. I mean, they're, they're pretty. They're, they're good buddies. They, they hang out a lot together. They, they do a lot of stuff together. Yeah. Um, they'll do the bickering, that kind of thing. But yeah. My mom and dad never, ever send each other cards like that. 
Valentine's yeah. Day or on oh. their anniversary. They're just like, they're so old school. Just like those type of cards wasn't around in their day when they happy got anniversary. Happy. Here's, just like, here's some yeah. toast. Yeah, there's a pat on the back. <laughs> here's a here's a cube of butter. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I suppose we could just roll into story time. <laughs> I would like to point out, by the way, that I gave a lot of hints and lead up to the whole birthday thing, <laughs> and, and somebody was not clue. You know, he was just—you were enthralled by my story. I yeah. get it. I get yeah. it. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk some story time. Let's talk about what's been going on with us for the past week. Uh, this is the non-video game related segment of the podcast. For those wondering, uh, we do talk about things other than video games occasionally. Uh, so, yeah, what's been going on? Uh, Pete, I don't know what you have listed, if you have anything at all. So we're going to start with you. Okay, well, I went to a festival last weekend uh, called WV1 Fest. It's a non-residential, so you don't need to camp over. It's just uh, in a local park uh, in the city uh, nearby. And there are about uh, two, 3,000 people that turn up. It's, yeah, it's called WV1 Fest. It's mainly rock-themed, uh, so they're, they're all cover bands. Uh, so they were bands like Deftones... So- Go on. A music a music festival. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, not all festivals are music festivals. Just for the record, you can have beer and wine festivals. You can have garlic festivals. God rest those people that lost their lives. You can have pumpkin <laughs> festivals. There yeah. are things. Pumpkin there are lots festival. of festivals. Yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin. Mm, big that's festival. that's not got overseas yet. I don't, no. Mark, no. Uh, have you heard it? No. no. Yeah. No. Everything pumpkin, pumpkin ice cream, which is really good. Pumpkin spice muffins. I'm just saying, you're missing out. Anyway, continue on. Yeah, so it's a rock rock music theme festival, uh, not pumpkins, and <laughs> it's it's really good. The, it's it's a very family uh, orientated uh, type get up in the day, and about half past six, seven o'clock, you know, as the the little critters get tired, uh, uh, the adults come out to play, and it's it was really good. There's loads of bands like the Deftones, Foo Fighters, um, Faith No More. Uh, I'm trying to think of others. Nirvana, yeah, it's just just your old uh, Nirvana. Yeah. Wait, back the truck up. Did they did they hire a, a new singer that I never it knew about? Oh, no, they're all cover it's bands. It's a tribute, oh, band. tribute band. bands. I missed I missed this out. I missed that part. Cover bands. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Nirvana. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, uh, uh, makes a lot and, more sense now. And they were brilliant, you know, Nirvana. They were probably my favorite across across the weekend. Um, maybe not the best Nirvana. At, tribute band I've, uh, I've seen uh, there's a band that's actually touring the world now it, it was it was started out in the UK and they was pretty small but they're getting really big and they're touring the world they're called Elvana and they mix Elvis Presley and Nirvana yeah exactly <laughs> by those faces you're like huh? okay. is that possible yeah. they can do it they, they, they do some fantastic fantastic um, fantastic tunes yeah so if you've ever uh, if you if you've not if if you've ever been into Nirvana and you like your Elvis and you you want to see an amalgamation of the two you got to check that band out Elvana but the festival yeah that was great um, really enjoyed it had too much to drink probably the other thing I've got up to is it was Mike's birthday party yesterday so we went to Mike's house and we had a little gathering uh, most of the time in the, in the back garden outside. And it was it was really nice. He uh, Tara made uh, a nice Mario themed birthday cake. It was actually two cakes. Uh, and you have to accommodate cake. all the candles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's older than me. Yeah. Um, it, it yeah, it was like a Mario themed type uh, type cake, and uh, it was across two two cakes, different platforms, and it was it was really well done. I liked it. It was class. So uh, right. I think he, I think he had a good day. We, we had uh, we had family rounds, uh, some of his friends. Uh, one of his old friends as well, he'll probably be talking about this on the Vets tonight, but one of his old friends as well, Dean, uh, he, he went to Florida with him and, and they were, you know, they, they were everywhere together as young kids. And uh, when they were about 15, 16, they're kind of, well, D- Dean kind of separated from him when his own way and met up with different people and never really, um, never really seen Mike, never had much to do with him. But they, they recently caught up 
and he turned up out of the blue and to see him you know for, for, he was at, at, at our house uh, at my mum and dad's like all the time and and to see him it was just it was just so nice so it was a real good gathering we had a good time uh yeah that's pretty much what happened up there uh how old officially is mike uh he's 34 okay because i i last when i met mike uh i was mis misinformed uh so i know we have the joke he's turning 42 in here i was told he was turning 40 so i bought him a 40th birthday card <laughs> yeah um <laughs> it's, it's pete's 40 next yeah, I'm 40 yeah. this year. Yeah, November the so first. So you can still use the same card, Greg. Just yeah, different yes. person, I'm different gonna reuse it, Scratch, scratch out, Mike. Put Pete. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Done. We're just 13. You it's, know. it's not far from the uh, from the EGX um, gathering as well. So I'm going to use that time, I think, to have a little bit of a, a celebration for myself because um, I, I don't intend to do that much. But yeah, big 40. Okay. Big big. Uh, yeah, I I will be having celebrated having uh, at the end of this month. My big day, yes. Mm. It might have a five somewhere in it. Mm. It's just a number, folks. Just just a number. Slightly higher, Pete. Slightly Uh, higher. What are you going to do? Have you you got any plans? Going to the UK. Yeah, it's coming here. (laughs) (laughs) Apart from that, that, we all know that. That's old news now. You can't make that big. I kind of still can. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You no, got... I, I I don't know. I honestly don't know what we're going to do on the birthday. I mean, the birthday will, the actual day will be probably low key. Nothing, mm-hmm. nothing crazy. No. Um, but yeah. Anyway, well, I don't know why we're talking about birthdays anymore. Let's move on. Uh, let's talk about Hobbs and Shaw. What's this nonsense? Yeah. Um, uh, well, me, last weekend was a bank holiday weekend. So me and Jenny went away for a few days, uh, but a little guest house and we got a few days away from everything just me and me and jenny so we don't get that much time uh, just us two together uh and it was nice uh we're not big drinkers so on a night time we weren't always in the pub so one night we went to the local cinema where we were and we saw hobbs and shaw and um it's, it's pretty good i quite enjoyed it i like the fast and furious series although they have been getting more and more insane and uh, over the top but uh, yeah this this is quite good it was a lot of action uh non-stop action all the way through a lot of humor between yeah. um the rock and uh jason statham i like jason statham and i like i like dwayne johnson as well so yeah a uh, good recipe for um a good popcorn movie really do you, do you know why that series has been getting better because they've got more rock and less vin diesel yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's truth right there, people. That's yeah. truth. Yeah, well, um, it's Paul Hunter though. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Paul. Yeah, Paul Walker was was a Walker, star. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the first sort of like four or five movies, he, Paul Walker made them movies. Yeah, yeah I totally yeah, agree with that, yeah. Pete. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I do like a bit of a bit of Statham. So yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Um, so does Kim, by the way. Uh, yeah. Took yeah, talking about Statham and muscly men. Kim, we've got the uh, the new calendar. Oh yeah, September. Oh, uh, yes, let's see it. Who's who's on who's on deck for September? Uh, can you That's see? my picture. I, yeah. I can't it, look, it looks back. like a yeah. plastic Ken doll, doesn't it? A he little does. bit. Yeah, I'm not so impressed with this. He's got a nice bit of pussy uh, on him, doesn't uh, he? There's uh, Mark and Rowan. I'm assuming Mark is the dude and Rowan's the cat, but you yeah. never know. Yeah. It could be yeah. wrong. Get some of them uh, sweets in his mouth. I like I liked your Facebook post about your um, options for your next year's calendar. Oh yeah, I'm keeping tabs. <laughs> you you killed know. one. Yeah. We might put it to a, we might put it to a vote. You know? Yeah, milling kilts and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So oh yeah, I've just watched the trailer now. It just reminded me. Um, another guy who I really love, uh, actor um, Idris Elba. He plays a bad guy in this. Yeah. He's a brilliant mm. actor. Oh, does he? Yeah, he plays a bad guy in this. Luther. Yeah. Man. Have, yeah. You, have you guys seen that, Luther? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Superb. Yeah. Absolutely superb. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so that was uh, good fun. Um, uh, other TV stuff I'm watching. Uh, watching a new, well, not I don't think it's new, but watching a, a series on Netflix called Money Heist. Um, just flicking through a, a, some of the series. Uh, it's actually a Spanish program. Uh, you can watch it in Spanish with English subtitles, or you can watch it in English dubbed. And it's about them uh, robbing the uh, Royal Mint of uh, of Spain. Uh, it's okay. very clever. They've got a guy who's called the professor who does all the back end stuff who doesn't actually go into the, the bank. 
Kim. Look, I only said what? back end. <laughs> right. I, I'm not so, laughing at you. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Um, Who does so, like going into the back end? So, and and he, he's the brains behind it. Uh, and then uh, they have all these sort of contingency plans in case things happen. And obviously, it doesn't always go to plan, but they have backup plans for backup plans and it's it's really interesting really enjoyed it uh, there's three seasons um so i've watched season one and two which concentrates on the main um heist and then season three um it's like a separate story where it brings them all back together again all the crew right. uh, and there's a season four in the work so this is another like a like a two-part of two seasons for this story so yeah so if you if you like stuff like this um cops and robbers type thing uh, I highly recommend it. All right. And uh, breaking news, we have our first official vote against Men in Kilts. Thanks, Scott Stubby, for that. Uh, one vote <laughs> against He's sick Men of in Kilts. Yeah. Sick of them, yes. Uh, by the way, Pete, uh, were you done talking? I think we just cut you off after the birthday talk, so. I'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> just being the runt of the litter. You, you just <laughs> fucking cut me off when you want to. I don't care. Anyway, Mark, so let's, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> no, seriously, Pete, did you have anything else you wanted no, to talk no, about? No, 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 it's fine. I love you, Greg. All right. Okay. Um, I'm interested uh, to find out what this second thing is on Greg's list. Uh, yeah, uh, so a couple things. Actually, oh. Talking Money Heist, uh, a, a new series. Well, it's not really a new series per se. I think it's been out for about a year, but it's a show called Yellowstone. Uh, it's uh, with... Kevin Costner plays one of the lead roles in it. Yep. Uh, it is a... Isn't he dead? <laughs> no. no. Kevin Costner? No. Kevin Costner? Really? Jesus, 13. Get with the program, man. <laughs> Get your facts straight. No, Kevin Costner's yeah. not dead. Uh, <laughs> well, he's still alive and well. And uh, it is quite a good series. Uh, it is, I think, a on-demand cable series only, so it's not on like, actual network TV. Um, it is quite vulgar they have some moments of pretty gratuitous violence and some racy bits to it uh but it is really good it's about his you know he's basically kind of a modern day cowboy so to speak uh running a ranch in uh in a i, I guess they're on an indian reservation at the end of the day is kind of where they're at with this but uh it is a fantastic series really enjoying it yeah it's and just the uh, writers yeah. of sicario which is a, a movie i love yeah yeah Got good Does he so, put his Robin Hood suit on? No Robin Hood suit. Uh, <laughs> no, but he, he plays... What about his bodyguard outfit? <sighs> Pete. There's a, there's a movie well, on... I'm going to be... here. I've got to throw in these things. I've got to be random. There's a movie on Netflix Pete. I want to see with him in and um, another old guy. Oh, uh, Woody Harrelson. Uh, Highwaymen. Oh, 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 did he just say Woody? Yeah. yeah. Go to Woody. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pete, he that does have his Tatanka. Tatanka. Ah! <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah, so that is uh, well worth a watch. Yellowstone, it is, I think, in its second season now. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, definitely give it, it a watch. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is really good. It starts off pretty brutal too. Uh, I won't. I won't give it away. But it's like, whoa, okay. Oh, that looks like a bit of a uh, brought back yeah. Did you watch moment there. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Did you watch thirteen? Netflix. Brian? Uh, no, I actually got that on demand through our uh, cable provider, but I'm, it might be on Netflix as well. Uh, but just give it, give it, give a search. It could be on Prime even. Uh, God, there's so many different services these days. I'm just saying. I know, right? There's, there's um, two anyway. new series just come out Friday. What I want to watch for, um, on Netflix is The Dark Crystal, the Vrima Dark, the Jim Henson yes. thing, and yeah. on. Prime, um, you've mentioned it before, Greg, in the chat, and I didn't know until I saw a recent trailer. Carnival Rose just come out. Yep. Yeah. Cara yeah, yeah. Delevingne. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it looks so, really good. Yeah. Uh, that that's kind of a um, like a steampunk kind of setting, but yeah. it's got fantasy. Yeah, it's in got it. like fairies, got wings on there. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, looks really good. Mm. Uh, Kevin right, Costner so... just look old though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, who's Flash? He is. And we're all getting not, there. Not as old as Arnie, does yeah. he? New Terminator movie. Yeah. Oh God! But, right. But the way he looks in this, in you know, the the shots you see of him, it, he just kind of looks like an honorary kind of like just angry cowboy kind of guy. That's the he plays that perfectly. No, he looks good. Yeah. I, don't, I can't find anything local to us, Mark, where we can see this. So. Yeah. Mark, Mark will have to find a a secondary source that Mark is good at doing, and then he will pass it <laughs> yeah. on to you. Yeah. Uh, VPN. We we just Who's had. A VPN? And, 
<laughs> VPN. Uh, NFL draft just hits. Uh, not that uh, you guys care about this, but uh, armored armored wank ball for the yeah. win. Uh, what? So, what was uh, that? That's, that's <laughs> Mark's Mark's description of American look, look, football. Look, look, don't put that on me. <laughs> no, nope. I got that from Fraser. That was Fraser's saying armored wank uh, ball. Now, now it all makes sense. Coming from the, the pacifist from the north. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, so yeah, NFL football is. Uh, in full effect, Woo-hoo. and I am excited. Sorry, there was Go a spider teams. web <laughs> literally sitting right there, it's like you're in front of a face, freaking me out. Uh, okay, let's get to the, the big story. Yeah, the lawnmower. So, we we bought a lawnmower when we first moved into this house, gas, gas running mower. Um, I think it was like a, a 149 cc six amp, whatever. I don't know. I don't know gas engines. So this is one of those things where, Mark, you're going to be like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Greg, come on. It's a simple fix. But for me, the thing was starting and stopping, starting and stopping. I'm pretty sure it's either the fuel line or the carburetor. Something's going on there to where it's not getting up. enough fuel. But you know what? Fuck gas mowers. <laughs> so I went out and I bought an electric mower. Uh, so Ryobi has a, a full lineup of tools that all use the same batteries. There are rechargeable batteries and they happen to have a really well-regarded mower. So I picked one of those up so I can just inter swap out with battery packs, constantly having them charging. It's, it's all good. So I'm a happy camper and I'm going to give away this lawnmower for free because I could care less <laughs> about it at this point. I, I I don't know engines well enough to dive in to try and yeah. fix a fuel line issue or swap out the fuel filters. I'm just like, no. Mm-mm. It it depends how big your garden is. If it's not too big, then electric mowers are fine. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you got I'm a not, huge I'm not garden, that with my yard. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing like an, a quarter acre or anything. No. I'm I'm, yeah. Electric mower is going to be perfectly fine, and it doesn't have a cord, which is great. So you yeah. know, you won't run it over. The, is that yeah, your mower on the stream? <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, no. I was going to no, say they're great paving stones. Yeah, that's that's definitely not something you want to mow is paving stones. Mm. Um, all right, last thing. So uh, this past week we were we were on PUBG playing. Mark, mm. I was talking with your your nephews. We yeah. were talking about weightlifting, and and I talked about going to this class. It was called Body Pump. It was at our gym, and and this it was like hour long. Uh, Think of it kind of like I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Not really aerobics, but it was like using weights, but just constant repetition. But you're using lighter weights because yeah. you're doing a lot of reps. I've done this, quite a few of these classes. They're yeah. good, aren't they? Oh, kicked my ass. Yeah. And and, it, and partly because I put too much. I, I was using too much weight because I, yeah. I didn't know what to expect. So I started off heavier, and yeah. then I just like went through it. Well, I was destroyed after that class came you know after the class my legs are shaking i'm like i am done so next day i was a little sore you know a little sore i'm like all right fine whatever yes mark what are you looking at the guy on the stream did you see that guy earlier was picking that much weight up beside bleeding from his nose and his ears and his eyes yeah yeah. no no don't do that uh anyway um... so Yesterday, I take my son to the pool at our our, uh, our gym, and we hung out. We had fun playing in the pool. But my son doesn't walk on his own. And so, you know, there's a lot of lifting and carrying of him. Also not helping is the fact that he loves being in the pool. And mm-hmm. and at our gym, they basically – it's it's a big kind of recreational pool area. It's got slides and water fountains, that kind of thing. So every hour, they make everybody get out of the pool for five minutes. They kind of check and make sure nobody's drowned in the pool, that kind of thing. And then they let everybody go back in. So, you know, it's a perfect time to go to the bathroom, whatever. But my son, like, refuses to get out of the pool. So he just becomes freaking dead weight. Like, he just would plop down to the ground. I was, like, trying to make him stand up. He plops back down to the ground. And so I'm, like, trying to carry him out of the water. And this happened multiple times. By the end of dealing with him and his not wanting to get out of the water all throughout the afternoon, I got home and... And suddenly, my my biceps today are just on fire, like painful, painful on fire. And I'm like, how did I get so sore? And I'm thinking maybe it was a class, but then I realized no, 
it's my son <laughs> and having to pick him up constantly. And, and of course I was doing it all bicep. I wasn't trying to bend over and use my legs at all look properly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. She's a big lot now. Isn't it? I, yeah. I am sore <laughs> like right in the lower part of my bicep, yeah. both arms, just not happy. So yeah. That's and I suppose story. just holding him out just in front of your chest, it's it's going to be pure bicep power and nothing else, isn't it? And, and they're going to be probably small curls when you, you're just moving him around, and it's yep. going to be intense, isn't it, around your bicep? So, yeah. wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> needless to say, I, I have been taking aspirin. I have ice on my arms earlier. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, it, it is painful. Like, if I stretch my arms out all the way extending them out, that's when it hurts. Yeah. It's not when they're they're, like, Contract it in. It's when I try to extend out. So anyway, as long as it doesn't complaint. affect your thumbs for the PUBG, no, you know, all right. No, no, this is perfectly fine. <laughs> so anyway, all right, that's it. Let's move on. Uh, Kim, did you want to talk about anything other than kittens and and men? Mm, uh, meh. <laughs> uh, no, the one much going on this week. I had to fight with my bank because they switched over to new computer systems and a new app, and well, it wouldn't work for me. So mm. after two days of calling the bank and trying to get them to figure it out, apparently they didn't like switch me over when they switched everybody else over. They apparently left me out and they had to put me Oops. in the computer system. So that was fun. Um, uh, other than that, I'm still working out. I lost a pound last week. So nice. Yeah. Nice. After having a month of plateau and being between one and another, I finally lost one. So that was fun. Mm. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, fun. I. Do you do all your banking online? Most of it, yeah. Yeah, uh, but what about you, Mark and and, and Pete? Yeah. Do you guys bank online? Oh uh, yeah, big time. Or I'm on mobile. Yeah, yeah. It, mobile yeah. app online on the computer, and, and if, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, much easier. That, uh, I agree. I, in fact, I pay all my bills that way. Yeah, me too. I I finally yep. did the thumbprint scan. So yeah. instead yeah. of having to put my yeah. stupid yep. password in every time, yeah. yeah. Digital people, it's a, it's a thing. Go mobile. And you about have to anymore because trying to do it the old way, you, you know, it's you almost can't because some places won't let you, you know, do it any other way. Yeah, so. you find there's more barriers being put up, don't you? Or they've, mm -hmm. you've got those little uh, handheld uh, number pads where you have to insert the card into and you have to type in PIN numbers. Have you got those in the States or not? Yeah. 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 It's just nuts. You might as well just use your phone. It's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I, I don't even use my um, like for contactless payments over here you can spend up to £30 contactless on cards, I don't even use my card for that I use my phone, I use Apple Pay Apple Pay. I have my card registered to it and it, it's yeah. great because then you, you're not at risk um, of your card being accidentally <laughs> swiped um, yeah. there's a big thing about putting your, your card in a RFID safe wallet now but yeah, yeah right. using Apple Pay you have to actually activate it so you don't have any of that issue it's great mm -hmm. Nice. Pay for petrol, just click. Pay for your McDonald's, click. It's easy. I'm not even going to comment on McDonald's. All right, we're, no. we're moving on. <laughs> Let's talk about games, Mark. Let's talk about games. You know, those things we like to play. Today I feel like playing computer games. And today I feel like playing computer games. Yeah, a, a follow-up to the... Uh, the, the electronic pay, uh, Scott Subby was saying, all of their branches are shutting down, uh, so he has no choice but to go yeah. digital. Mm -hmm. um, that's a little scary. Yeah, but, about that. Uh, I, I like knowing I have a branch to go to. Mm. Yeah, to talk to, that's to, true. To talk to somebody. It's same as the, the post offices over here. That all the sort of like smaller ones are all getting shut down. You have to. Yeah. Some people, some people like the older generation who don't like using. The technology. If you have to travel miles now just to use a post office or a bank, it's it's not fair. But right? the things you're, do your post thing... offices. Sorry, go ahead, Pete. Uh, sorry, go on. You carry on. Oh, I was gonna say, are your do your post offices? Do they do like Amazon deliveries as well? Hmm. Don't know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that was one of the things that really. Oh helped. yes, to send stuff. All right, yeah. 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 <laughs> our, our, well, so our postal service did a big contract with Amazon. Uh, in that the U.S. Post Office will handle a lot of their deliveries so that Amazon sends basically the packages through the U.S. Post Office. And I think it's more for kind of more rural, out of the way, or smaller packages. Um, but I've noticed actually just recently a ton of Amazon Prime painted vans now. 
Oh, they right. have their own fleet of yeah. drivers no. delivering. Oh yeah. Oh, over here, well, in my area, anyway. Um, anything I order from Amazon usually comes by an Amazon courier or a like a self-employed courier who who drives for Amazon. Um, it very rarely comes through our Royal Mail post. I thought you meant when you're returning stuff, you'd have to. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of ours are all self-employed folk yeah. driving their own cars and yeah. vans. Paul Davy, uh, um, Orte, he, he does that. He, but oh, he, drive, okay. he drives for Hermes, which is a like a, a another company separate to that. They're, but. they're the ones that like catapult parcels through windows and <laughs> like in, in yeah. crazy play. They get like yeah. crazy complaints, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Um, I, but, I I believe it. I've I've spoken with Orte. Uh, yeah. I totally believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can see now is that he's eye corrected. <laughs> talking about electronic you see where he's banks. throwing the parcels. Talking about electronic banking and stuff as well. I've got to check here, right? For, right. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's only a small amount, but... Can you hold uh, it on the screen so I can scan it? And then the a camera... check? <laughs> what? What, what's a check? I haven't seen a exactly. check for years. I'm not talking to the bank. <laughs> I, I can't even be asked just to go and cash it. I just... Well, see, so, so here, the, the, the new thing here, and, and I'm assuming it's there as well, is you can take a picture of that check, Pete. And no, we've send not it to your, Yeah. So I could take a picture of that check send it to the bank and it will get cashed. I, I never have to step foot in the bank. That is so my type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't That's why to I really, just, really just, just... wanted you to hold that up to the <laughs> camera. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Scan away. Uh, all right. Uh, now we are going to move on. We're going to talk about games. Kim, uh, why don't... You walk us through all of the games that we have paid hard, hard-earned money to get for free. Don't mention the last one, though. Don't mention the last one, whatever it is. Um. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, I thought it was games you've played. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> these are the previous one. Like a big <laughs> list. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for fucking me up there. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> okay. Right. All right, games with gold for September are Hitman, the complete first season, available September 1st through the 30th on Xbox <laughs> One, of course. Here we... Oh, I can't even say this one. Uh, we Were Here, sorry, available September 16th through October 15th. Where? Earth Defense... How many of these did they make? Seriously, Earth <laughs> Defense Force 2025, <laughs> available now through the 15th. And Tekken Tag Tournament 2, available the 16th through the 30th. And those are backwards compatible, of course. I mean, honestly, there's like a Earth Defense like for every freaking year. Oh, last, last I, have, I have a prediction. Yeah. I have a prediction. Mark is going to say he will play this game, and then he will be like, I remember it being better. <laughs> I think he's done that with every Earth no, Defense title I, I played that's the, come out. The first Earth Defense what came out on Games of Gold, I played, deleted, and the last three what have been on Games of Gold I've not even downloaded. Yeah, same here. I'm just like, yeah, no. Rose City Glasses. Well, they've made that many. They're six years in front. Yeah, yeah, they've got them. I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. There's Have my, fun. there's my, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna play that. You're gonna play that instead of gears. Is that what you're telling? <laughs> me? No, not instead of. Just at at a, a, a lull. Maybe it'll be late at night. Whatever. I'll fire it up, and then I'm just be like, Mark, it's the great. This is a great game. And Mark's <laughs> gonna, I'll get Mark to play it, and he's gonna be like, this is absolute shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, all right, your PlayStation uh, Plus games for September are, and which, in my opinion, these are far better than the Xbox yeah. ones. Mm. You won't hear me say that very often, but here we are. Um, and these will be available on the 3rd. They are Batman, Arkham Knight, and Darksiders 3. Yay! Considering yeah. I have the other two Darksiders, this is awesome. So. Yeah, I, I, I think they're, that's a really solid lineup. Um, yeah. I've, I've played I played Batman, so I'm not really fussed about that anymore. But I mean, the the, the Dark Siders three could be interesting. Right, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just have to interject here. Right, I'm playing the trailer for Earth Defense Force 2025. This is mm-hmm. the one I played on 360. This is the one I liked. I will be playing this. This is the one I <laughs> I remember. This is a great game. I wondered why All the right. other ones were shit. Yeah. Carry on. Uh, carry mm-hmm. on. Yeah. All uh, right. Actually, well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah, I have looked today. You don't the... have the Twitch ones yet. No, no, I have a look, and they, the, the current ones run until the 2nd of September, so I presume on the 3rd they'll announce it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So. I am curious as to the, the We Were Here game as to what that is. I've never heard of it, nor 
Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming here. it's an indie title that's launching mm-hmm. on gold. We'll that's see. my guess. Yeah, we'll see. Sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes that can be yeah, not such a good thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, speaking of things that are good and not so good, let's talk about the games we have been playing. So, Pete, I'm going to start with you because one of the games you have played is great. <laughs> one of the games you have played is eh. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start with the one that Greg has said is great, and that's Snooker 19. Snooker 19, I knew you'd say that. Incorrect. <laughs> so my, my brother uh, has been... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. This is just for Mike Chin to hear. Snooker is a poor man's pool. Snooker. Poor man's billiards. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> listen, listen, Greg. When we get to London, I'm going to see if we can find a Riley's club. And I'm going to see if we can go and have a game of snooker because it might change your mind, especially when you play with me and Mike. Because you know, oh, I'm sure I'm sure I will have a black. I love playing billiards. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I find it fun. <laughs> He's just upset two chins in one go there, hasn't it, Pete? I know. I yeah, really, I'm here for you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Greg's favorite uh, game that I was talking about on the list of snooker 19, and um, well, it is what it says on the tin it's it's a snooker game my brother's been <laughs> streaming it every single thursday he plays six people every single week and i thought to myself okay we've we've gone out we've uh, we've grew up with snooker from when we were kids and right. um we went Can to you a say local... it properly at least snooker <laughs> you mean snooker uh, why why can't americans say snooker <laughs> no no it's it's that's <laughs> I like a Seinfeld reference that I'm doing there. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Carry, carry on. <laughs> so we grew, we grew up with it from kids. My, my dad played this in the local working men's club, uh, you know, when we were just uh, just little um, little kids, and we, we've really enjoyed it. We've, we've played competitively, uh, Mike more so. Uh, I got into pool then afterwards, um, and I ended up playing uh, in a few leagues, um, yeah, as far as pool goes, and I, enjoy, I think I enjoyed pool for for being a, a short, fast-paced game, um, and Mike in, enjoyed the the strategy and the the, the the yeah, all the tactical element of snooker, which which I enjoyed as well. But I, I kind of lent towards pool afterwards. But uh, I thought, well, do you know what? I'm going to try and uh, load this game up, give it a few goes, and see if I can jump on one of Mike's. Uh, streams when he's back from his holiday so yeah i've just been playing a bit of snooker it's difficult um i don't think uh, i don't think the characters are designed that well i think they could have been a little bit more polished and um maybe different handshakes or something uh when when they introduce themselves when they come on just before they play the game but it as far as as far as tactics power how you play the game um how you how you work the queue and how you position the balls you know it's i think it's done really really well um it's pretty difficult my brother says oh you'll be okay with pro aim and blah blah blah. so i've played that and i haven't won a match um but i'm not far away Uh, it's 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 uh it's a good game i like it i'm never gonna convince anybody uh, over the sea, probably to play this, but I don't know. But for twenty quid, you can't argue. I went to the smelly shop and the, oh, the, the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the game didn't have a cover. Uh, they couldn't find the case anywhere, so they said that they'd sell it me for twenty pounds. So I just thought, yeah, do you know what? I'll I'll, I'll have this. And uh, yeah, and a night with Mike Chin on Snooker Nineteen is uh, is due to arrive probably in the next four weeks. I'd say I'll I'll put some practice in. Um, That'd be good for your extra he... life as well, won't it? You better yeah. play. When, when is when is he going to be back, Pete? Uh, he travels to you next Sunday, um, right? And I I believe he's away for uh, is it ten days or a fortnight? Uh, I'm not 100 percent too sure. Um, but yeah, I've I've got a few weeks practice yet before he's back in the UK. So yeah. uh, he'll be a little bit rusty as well then, going over abroad and not being able to play. And yeah, I, I, I'm saying that. He's bought it on Switch, hasn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, different experience, though. I would also say get him right when he gets back from the U.S. The yeah. jet lag happening. Yeah. Just, you know, catch him in the right moment. I'll see what I can Maybe do. Maybe slip him a Mickey. 
<laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much snooker. It's good. Of um, the character I've picked is the ginger one. He's got a ginger beard and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, th- I thought surprising I can't his name McGill or something like that. Anyway, um, McGinger. McGinger. <laughs> uh, I've, yeah, I've picked the ginger one anyway. Uh, so the next game I've been playing, which Greg hates, uh, PUBG. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> PUBG, PUBG for life. PUBG for life. Um, I've, well, what can I say about this game? It they've they've obviously polished it off now to a point where I don't think they could do any any more modifications of this game. They just ought to leave it where it is. Um, I'm still a little bit confused with the ammo change on some of the weapons. Is the Vector yeah. now yeah. using the Yeah, yeah. Vector yeah. now uses 45. Or, 45 no, Vector now uses no. 9mm. Vector, Vector uses 9 uses now. Nine. And, Ve- and the Ump uses 45 now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. But uh, the Ump has more kick now. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, I, I like the fact that it auto... Um, it auto equips the hand grips and some of the uh, yeah some of the. Some I of can't the... get it to do that for me. Oh, can't uh, you? I, I was on, I was on this afternoon with Phil and Jay at Filthy, that yeah. guy who we had let's say, on this podcast, and and it should be back right. next week. Um, Still a lot of gear though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, every time I've, I, I know Greg said that once you got the weapon in your hand and you pick up a grip or a sight, it automatically puts it on that weapon. It's not doing it for me. Do I have to right, so, enable that? I'm, I'm no. sure. Yeah, I'm sure oh, your yes. son or your you nephew said that. Settings. Yeah, yeah. Ah, sure. right. Okay, that's why then. But 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 you do you have to have it equipped, mm. and and you can't have something else in the slot. So if yeah. you say you have. Uh, uh, red dot site and you come across a four time site, it will just put the four time site in your backpack. If you don't have a site on your weapon, it'll auto put it onto it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because I don't I don't like the time that you've got between um, finding this stuff and moving on to somewhere else to <laughs> equip them to your weapon. So when it yeah. auto attaches it, I, I think that that's convenient. So, uh, it, 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 it's good for us old ones anyway, that are not yeah. quick with the menus. Um, well, that's I, I where like my that. um, that's where my um, controller comes in because I've got the uh, Razor Wolverine, which is like the Elite, and it's got like two extra buttons uh, right. on the top neighbor bumpers, and I've mapped one of them to the the sort of like inventory button. Yeah, so right. I've got. Oh, I know it's only one button to the inventory, but you got to move your thumb all the way across. Where's this? It's like more instinctive. Okay. So, Comments yeah. in the chat as Mark can't get his hand grips equipped. So <laughs> right. that's important yeah. that we cover that. Uh, but we had, we had some I, I good will... games, didn't we? The past few days. We did. Oh, yeah. did you see that kill that I did with that car yeah. 98? Yeah, we, we no sight on. That was just epic. So there was this yeah. boat for the for the listeners. So there was this motorbike that was coming down the hill, and I think it was you, Mark, wasn't it? That said, oh yeah, there's yeah. a motorbike to the east that's coming down uh, towards the village, and we seen it. It was no real threat to us. And it was going over its bumps and heading towards the city, obviously, to its teammates. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and have a poppity. And everybody was trying to burst their their, their machine guns and stuff at it. But I, it was going that fast, I don't think they could really hit it. And I've got this video anyway. It's recorded and it's flying down towards the city. And it jumps off this, off this little embankment. And I aim my weapon around this time and follow the motorbike. And I shoot and I manage to just pop the person who's on the motorbike and it was just the most incredible shot that i've ever done i think i'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm try get it on stream nice oh man it was just uh, by the way for for hardly dan in the uh in the chat group uh wasd is ridiculous and not natural and uh <laughs> controllers for the win yeah agree yeah anyway uh i will say this pete i think they can still make some improvements to the game mostly with the maps I think the, the new redesigned uh, Engro map is fantastic. Really like the changes they did with that. And I noticed they did make some other changes on some of the other older maps. So I'm kind of hoping they'll still do some of these updates and kind of change it up a little bit here and there. Um, I don't think I've applied it enough to, to pick out the stuff on the maps. I don't know. Um, well, Engro is, is a, I mean, it's a major change. They, they did a lot of upgrades to that. Uh, Changing around kind of how the locations look and feel, 
uh, adding in different environments. Um, trying to remember, there was one uh, there was one area in Engrol where you, you would go in, and originally it was like you turn left, and there was a bathroom there uh, that was like you know open, and just you like you walked into it, it was like there was one toilet, and that was it. This time you go into it, and it's got like a whole bunch of stalls. And and it's just it's a different vibe, a different feel. They put a lot of work into it, and I just I I appreciate the continuous upgrades they've done to this game. So they changed the bathroom. Um, they changed the bathroom. Also, that's, 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 that's no, a small. I, I wouldn't re- I wouldn't pick up on that. I no. wouldn't ca- I, When I jump off that off that plane, I land on the ground. I, I don't I don't give a shit whether there's a bath there or a, a cinema or a, a pizza place. I don't care what it is. Right, all I'm bothered about is someone shooting my ass or hitting me with a frying right. pan. Also and, true. And, and that's all I care about. Uh, They're minor you, aesthetic details, Greg. I think the, we're playing PUBG is, after this, by the way. The, the, there is one minor happen. aesthetic detail which freaks me out now. They've started putting little dolls in the chairs yes. in some of the bedrooms. Oh, and they're like the I Annabelle got... dolls, and they are oh, freaky. My. That is ridiculous. Yeah. I've, not, I've not even noticed that, neither. Yeah. He would have to come out and slap me around the face for me to notice <laughs> something like that. Uh, oh, Pete, what do you notice? <laughs> Just bullets, Greg. Just oh, bullets. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Red dolls, so, you know. All right. Uh, let's move on from PUBG. Uh, we can all agree, greatest game ever. Uh, Kim. <laughs> um, uh, I you know, know. I know this is the staples. Yeah, yeah. The trials and uh, and Red Dead Two. They're right. still there. Um. And I've started playing Gears Pop, which I'm sorry, Mark, I forgot to mention that, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so there is one new game this week, and I've been playing it pretty pretty steady. So, you know. Uh, what what are your thoughts? I mean, is it is it to me? It's the perfect. I'm just kind of on the couch, maybe not necessarily engaged with what's on TV or yep. somebody else is watching something I don't care about, and yep. you just fire it off. Pretty much, yeah. That's. I mean, I played similar games to it before, and everybody's like, "Well, it's a strategy game." Well, I don't play it strategically at all, so I just kind of throw the little guys out there and hope, like hell, they they make it to the other end and and you know, win. But if not, eh, you know, no big deal. Because I mean, I did pretty well when I first started, but then the longer it's went along and the higher I've gotten, I, it seems like I've lost more than I won. But I'm getting there, slow and steady by jerks. So. This is you know. this is where the strategy part would actually benefit so, you. Probably, just, but... I, I've got a question, actually, on this. Like, yeah. I've played a little bit of this. Um, okay. So, what's the strategy part? Because all I do is, I see the pins there, and I just flick them up, and, yeah. oh, right, that's available. Right. Flick it on the board, flick them up. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the strategy element. Oh, yeah. Every pin or character has basically three to four characters they are good against, Mm-hmm. That they, they are they're like they're more effective against, and they have three or four that they are weaker against. So, as you see other enemies coming on screen, you should try and counter them with All the right. characters that are going to be better against them versus ones that are going to be weaker against them. Because if let's say you have the the, the swarm characters and they're weak against Marcus Col- Marcus Phoenix, yeah, and you see Marcus Phoenix on the map you shouldn't throw them out against him because they're going to lose and he'll just keep coming down. So that's where the strategy element comes into play. So like if I throw a butcher out, what do you do then? That slow-moving big guy right down the middle. Right, right. The butcher, the butcher. there's going to be certain characters that are going to be more effective against the butcher. Also, certain types of grenades are going to be more effective right, okay. against him. I, yeah. think the, I think the regular grenade is not as effective, but the ink grenade, I think, is mm. effective against yeah, the Yeah, I think the ink grenade is better than the regular grenade, the frag. So it seems right. like anyway. I keep getting my ass kicked by it anyhow. So, yeah, I don't know. And you're right, but the thing of it is, I gotta go through there, and then I gotta study all that. And I'm like, yeah, eh, fuck it. I know. You know, know. what? They're gonna die. They're gonna die. I'll just try another time. You know, my 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 biggest thing is I get the um the little guys that there's like two of them or three of them, yeah, like three the, of them, yeah. the shepherds and the little yeah. snub nose guys. I just like fling them suckers out there till there's like a big gang and hope <laughs> like hell that you know they 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 do their so, job. Do you have a, but, an infinite supply of these dudes? And can you run out? Yeah, so there's a little timer at the bottom, mm-hmm. so you'll yeah. you'll see it, it starts counting up. So yeah. each each one of your characters has a number associated with them. So let's say the shepherds are three or four. Yeah, you have to wait till you get three bars full before they'll be available to pop. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So 
you do have an infinite amount of them as long as you have um, credits, if you will, to, to, yeah, the, to give. And the credits constantly refill. Yep. But every time you select the shepherds and you throw them out there, it subtracts three from that line. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, the, the, the so there's also a strategy of as you advance, you capture cover. And yeah. as you capture cover, then you can launch your characters your out farther up the screen. Up, right. It? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's another important aspect is capturing that cover, and only certain characters capture the cover. Like the shepherds won't capture cover. No. Um, the tanks won't capture cover. The the Marcus mm -hmm. Phoenix, the Cole, um, Baird, the, no. the Baird, the uh, the grenade grenadier from the Locust. Those guys will capture cover. Mm -hmm. So there you yeah. go, Pete. Is eating on the podcast. I he am has just, been for a while now. I know. I, 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 I know. I know. He's eating I, pom pom no, bears. I, I, yeah, that's okay. Pom bears. Sorry. Yeah. I've, I've it was up. on mute. I, I know. I know. You was you was you was talking gears pop, and I don't, oh my god, why are you playing this game, you pet? <laughs> what are you I like nutters? It. I don't like you gears. nutters. Got bears, and that's oh awesome, so. god. What are you just finished Red Dead Redemption 2? Don't get pink ears pop. I have been, damn it. Come Pete, on. Pete, have you tried Gears Pop yet? I, I don't give a shit about it. I, I, Pete, I have that vibe. That's like it's cranky. Holy shit. He's waiting for Halo Pop, Greg. That's where it is. Come oh, on, God. come on, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick about bongos, Pete. <laughs> give it a try, Pete. Come on. Just no. Try it just once. No. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right all right let's move on from gears pop uh mark i will go next we'll save yours for the 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 finale how's that right um all right so i started playing a couple games off of game pass oh, cool. uh yeah, we already covered PUBG. Please. so uh human fall flat was the first game i i started playing this reminds yes. me of that gang beast what um yeah it's robin it is a platform puzzler that that is exactly what this game is. Um, you know, you play this little character that is a, a human that seems to have a very wobbly stature about them, uh, and, and you you guide you guide your little character <laughs> through the map. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of was it Octo Man, where it, it, you you couldn't really yeah. walk straight and evenly. Yeah. So he, you know, it, it's almost like you're drunk the entire time as you're trying to walk. Like a drunken kung fu character. Yeah. Um, and so there's some interesting mechanics. So the right and left trigger both are associated with your right and left arms. So you pull the right trigger in, he sticks his right arm out. You pull the left trigger in, sticks his left arm out. You can use that to activate buttons, but you can also use it for actually climbing up things. So you point your, your look upwards, and he raises his arms up in the air. And so you run up to a ledge... And you jump, and as you jump to the ledge, you look down, and he lowers his arms down, and he catches the ledge. And then the more you look down, the more he raises himself up. It sounds complicated. Once you start doing it, it actually feels pretty natural. <laughs> uh, and, and so this is how you get through these puzzles. As you climb and clamber around things, you're pulling things, you know, readjusting them to, to activate a switch, that kind of thing. It's all about getting to the next exit. And the next exit, you walk through the exit and you fall down to another world. Oh, like we're doing the conga there, look. <laughs> yeah, um, it is. It is. It is a. I mean, it, it's a. It's a cute little game. Uh, mm. And the puzzles can be really challenging. Like right now, I started a puzzle that I cheated and I kind of went the wrong way, and it gave me an achievement for going the wrong way. But it's such a big puzzle, I'm completely lost on where I need to go now. <laughs> so. I think I need to restart it and you know go from scratch. But I mean, you know, it, it again, it's really ingenious because if you start thinking about certain things of like, I wonder if that'll work. It might. So like, there was a fire extinguisher on the ground and there was this big glass window, and I was picking up the fire extinguisher and I mean, the guy could like, barely hold it over his head, but I managed to swing the fire extinguisher with a little bit of momentum, broke through the window, and I was able to climb through the window and get to the next area. So things like that, um, I, I was trying to build a pile of rubble so I could clam, clamber up and then take a piece of rubble and use that to push down a button 
to mm. open up a door. Yeah, um, on stream now we're, we're putting a box on a pad to open yeah, a door. Yeah, but it's well, that not it. that easy to put a box on no. a pad by the look of it. No, it is not. <laughs> Uh, but it is a really it's a fun game. Uh, if you like puzzle games like this, uh, I would say definitely give it a try. It is on Game Pass. I know it's on pretty much every platform out there as well. So it's been, I think it's been out for a little while. So Human Fall Flat, I, I do give it a, a, a good thumbs up, uh, you know, for when you're just wanting to do something different. Uh, and then Bard's Tale 4. Yes. Um, huh. So this I've I haven't had a lot of time with it, mind you. Uh, I just mm-hmm. downloaded it Friday night. Fired it up. Um, visually, it's okay. Not like going to blow your socks off, like, oh, this is the greatest visual game I've ever seen. But mm-hmm. for a Bard's Tale game, it looks fantastic. Uh, Bard's, Bard's Tale is a very traditional, old-school RPG. Um, you know, it, it's the uh, first-person view, walking around, um you know, you've got your char- your your party of characters that all kind of share the same screen with you, so you don't see your party uh, until you get into combat. Um, it has puzzles in it. Uh, what's interesting about this particular version, I don't know if this is in previous versions or not, but in the options they give you, you you get to kind of you know the normal difficulty levels, but then they also give you skippable skippable skippable. That was really hard. <laughs> it's easy for you to say, Greg. I know. Mm-hmm skippable puzzles which i thought was interesting so huh. um, i haven't come across a puzzle yet so i don't know how difficult they are but if they are really tough then i'm gonna skip through those um but uh it it it, it harkens back to old school might and magic dungeon crawling uh, rpg games so um you know if you'd like that kind of game i think this might be one that strikes a chord with you um, mm-hmm. I haven't really played enough of it yet to, to say if it's great or not. Um, but so far, so good. So. Cool. That's what I was interested to know, because I saw a lot of reviews that said it sucked. So I figured since Ooh. you actually played it. I, I think you know. I think it's because it is such an old school RPG. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a modern RPG. You're not seeing your character on screen. The the you know, you're equipping things. It's really inventory management. It's not going to be a visual, you know, representation. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, if I'm comparing this to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey blows this out of the water in oh, well, every yeah. way possible. Um, but, you know, this is also a little bit different type of game. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Uh, and I will keep uh, it downloaded then. Yeah, I, I'm going to continue to try and play it and, and see, you know, how I get on with it. I, it may be that I end up hating it, and and I'll, I'll report on it next week. How's that? Sounds good. Is that good. fair? Mm-hmm. All right. Mark, what about you? Uh, so I've just uh, been still plodded along with um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, I I did sort of like put um, some polls and questions out what you covered for me uh, about the length of games because this this is what sparked it off for me. Uh, how long this game is. Um, I don't know how many hours I've got into it. I think I've got about 65 hours into it now. Uh, and I'm and I'm, ne- I'm not <laughs> and I'm nearly done. Um, oh, I can't find the video for it. I'm nearly done now uh, because I've started unlocking the achievements for completing the different, the smuggling operations, the deception operations and everything. So I'm finally starting to wrap things up. I've finally got um, a cutscene which features the big... Uh, cartel boss and I can take him on now if I want to early or I can finish all the other missions which I I'm probably might as well do now so I'm, I'm nearly there I'm, I can feel it, it's so close um, there's a few missions which absolutely piss me off if I'm honest and they're the <sighs> ones where you cannot get spotted Oh yeah, I, uh, I feel your pain there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, yeah. and these are in Fail, the Fail state missions suck Yeah, the, these are in the maximum Difficult setting areas Oof. with uh, not the cartel but the Unidad ones, and they come on you like a ton of bricks. They're, they've got helicopters circling all the time and everything, and it's an absolute nightmare when you have to do a mission where you have to retrieve an item or a person or something and not get spotted. But yep. what I have to do at the moment, I can get into the compound because you can drop down at the back of it, but you can't get out without going in a vehicle because the gates won't open. Um, and I take one of their trucks. And the gate's open for me, and I get to the second gate, 
and then they, they just spot me in the truck. Um, I had a quick look online on a YouTube video and someone suggested stealing a truck and using a truck to go in and then using the same truck to go out so I don't know how that's going to work but I need to give that a try but yeah this this one mission has just been doing my crust in lately um, yeah. but yeah I'm so close I can feel it I can feel the, the, nice. the victory achieved coming along so I'll be, I'll be glad to because I want to get this done before Breakpoint comes out right uh, yeah, I need to jump back into that game. Yeah. There's so many games on my backlog. Oh, oh God, yeah, tell me about it. It makes my skin itch. I, I, um, <laughs> just today, actually, I, I thought, I'll, I'm, I'll, go on, I'll go on for a few games or something this afternoon. And I looked at the, I was in the dashboard, and I just looked, and I looked, and it said, games installed, I think it was 147 games available, it was something stupid like 500 and something I think that's, wow. like, I think that's because yep. of Game Pass now, and I'm yep. thinking oh my god, what do I pick? I and mean, then I turned it off and I went on the PS4 because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't choose um, I w- which brings me nicely onto my um, my next real game quickly, I played real quickly, Mark, Sorry? Sarah says she loves the self missions Oh God! Uh, what? So, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I like the stealth the missions. For punishment, so. Right, I do like going in stealthy in this game, and I love all my weapons are silenced. I love a sniper in this, and I love I've got the um, ARC with a, a suppressor on uh, for sort of like medium range stuff, and I do like taking down enemy secret uh, in in sort of like stealth. It's the ones where you can't get spotted, oh, and sometimes it isn't your fault, and that's the ones what piss me off. That's why I so. can't play very many Ghost Recon games because, yeah, just, uh, yeah. they give me gamer rage for shit like that. Because I'm like, what happened? Did I fart or something? How the fuck <laughs> yeah. did I get spotted? You know, yeah. did, a, did a ant, you know, sneeze? Oh, what the hell? man. Right, so last night I was playing it, um, and I'd, there was a mission where you had to, uh, there was this sort of like cardinal, and he was preaching to, to sort of like the cartel um, followers and everything but you had information that he was uh, a bit of a naughty boy a bit of a like you do Ooh. with priesthood uh, or what's mm-hmm. anymore uh, so you have to sabotage his sermon to his masses fake news yeah you have to sabotage his sermon <laughs> by replacing the video feed and then he, he tries doing a runner and you have to take kidnap him while being shot at by hundreds of his bloody enemies cartel enemies you find i finally got him away from the area right um and i was going to put him in a vehicle to sort of like take him to the extraction point and uh just a random npc run me over and run the cardinal over killed him and i had to do it all over again <laughs> oh, oh i'm sorry at that point i would go to the home screen i would press start <laughs> and then click uninstall it, it took me about <laughs> right. 10 minutes to infiltrate yeah. this area God. stealthily oh no Upload this video and then, then, then you can go about shit crazy and shoot anyone you want. And I got this cardinal out of the compound, and I got fucking run over. Oh god! <laughs> well, that's what oh, you shit. get for walking in the middle of the street. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> Bloody Bolivia Jay-walking. for you. Yeah. Um. So the other game I've played, and I've played this over the last like three three weeks now, on and off. Um. But with me not being off on, I've not really talked about it. But uh, I know this is one Pete's played, and this is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. It was uh, on PS Plus, and it is Detroit Become Human. Oh. Um, and the moment I started this up and I saw the menu screen and how they did the menu, I was blown away. Graphically, it is absolutely stunning. Yeah. The menu is a woman droid who is beautiful, and she explains how things work and, and, and she like talks to you as if you're really there sort of thing. She knows you're there. It's very clever how we've done it. Um, but yeah, when you get into the game, um, you control quite a few different characters. Uh, they're all sort of like uh, androids. Um, the storyline in it is quite interesting. Um, it's I don't it, know about that. I don't no, it is. It is, it is I honestly. Know, no, I, 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 no, I have played Heavy Rain. And I've not finished it, so it didn't grab me. I've looked at Beyond Two Souls. I've not really played it. And this is by the same people, David Cage's I know, no, yeah, thing. I, no. No, here's, what, here's, the old, here's what I take exception to the game: is he's talking about how he, you know, wants to rebel. The, 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 it's a droid rebellion, if you will. They they want their freedom. They want to be recognized as their own. And he has yeah, they become sentient. Disc. Yeah, right, right. He has this little disc on the side of his head that signifies that he's a droid. 
Mm. Yeah. And the I, only I, I know what you're going to say. It's just remove the disc, which he yeah. does. And it's yeah. like, well, if it's that freaking easy, then what, there's no point that it like defeats the yeah. whole thing about, I don't know. But they had to develop a personality yeah. and they had to develop feelings to get yeah. to that point where they say, I don't no, want to be it, this slave no more. It, it, no, it's quite engrossing, Greg. I, I've got, it, it's really, <laughs> I, I'm really enjoying this. It's really good. No, it's some I, good storylines. I, I, I'm taking the piss right now. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm just having a little fun with you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's bu- graphically it's beautiful. Uh, the gameplay, um, it's it's simple gameplay. It's your typical um, Quantic Dreams where it's a lot of it is uh, quick time, or you'll you'll like to to operate a door or something. You'd have to move a stick and then into a motion, and but there's always a prompt telling you how to do it. Uh, but it's it's the story part of it which is quite engaging. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been keeping Pete up to date on on which part of the story I'm at on that. Uh, but yeah, really enjoying it. There's so many ah. turns you can take on this game. It's unreal, oh yeah, isn't it? the, 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 this game does have branching paths, and uh, I had that today. I um, I had a split decision whether to shoot or to talk someone down, and I panicked because I thought my character and my character's partner was in danger, so I shot. Um, and after I shot, I felt really guilty because the effects of it afterwards. It was in the um, the uh, the blue haired uh, sex doll one, Pete. If you remember that bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I shot her. Well, so not her, but yeah. Have you got part? Have you got past the part where it involves the woman who's in the menu? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh no! Oh, oh. You, the woman in the menu. Did you meet her, do you? Yeah. Oh no, no, we got that. Oh. No. And I've just done that bit where the um the guy there's there's a guy murdered in the like a sex shop thing. So I've just done that machine. That's right. Yeah. There's two women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and these robots had fallen in love. Um, Quality. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think I chose it. What did you do, P? Did you talk her down or did you shoot her? No, I just blew her away. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm not alone then. Well done. Well done. Uh, so oh, the boy. next mission I'm on now, which I haven't finished yet, is where. Uh, we're in the snow trying to get to the border now with Kara and that big big dude and the yeah, girl the in the unit. back. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's really interesting, Greg. I, uh, I know a lot of people criticise the David Cage games. Have you played it, Greg? Uh, no, I, yeah, actually, I, think Dave, I think people criticise David Cage. Not so yeah. much his games, per se, Yeah. but it's more the criticism of David Cage and a lot of the shenanigans that have gone on at Quantic Dreams, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, well, after, after obviously, I've played um, Heavy Rain in the past. This is way above that. The bar has been yeah. set with this now. It's, it's miles yeah. miles better than uh, Heavy Rain, in my view, anyway. I've not yeah, played, really enjoying I think, it. Heavy I think Rain. they brought Detroit Become Human out to PC, or they're planning to, one of the two. I know they're they're going multi-platform. Well, I know they're going multi-platform now, yeah, from, from now on, yeah. But yeah, really enjoying it. So if you got this on PS Plus, you, 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 you've not to lose. It's really interesting. Have you guys played this, Greg, Kim? No, uh, but no. I haven't. No. Oh, oh okay. You, you got uh, this, though, I do Kim, have didn't one you, more on game PS to Plus? Talk about, yeah. Yep. I got it. I almost completely forgot. Uh, this is The Police 2. Need to talk about this. Right. Uh-oh. What's it called? This is The Police 2. So uh, <laughs> this is a sequel. Uh, obviously, and the two part. Um, I don't know how to describe this game. It is a mishmash of a lot of different genres. Uh, it's kind of, a, at the end of the day, it's like a police department simulator. Um, there, it, it, it doesn't, the graphic styling of it, I'm trying well, to think. It's isometric, of, looking down, sort of thing. At Am times, I the right yes. one? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You are. Uh, cops so, in a Fargo like XCOM adventure. That's that's a description yeah, of a oh, YouTube yeah, video. Yeah. Uh it's it's it has XCOM components to it in that you will every once in a while have to go in and control uh your your fo- police force as you're, you know, taking on a certain mission. Um but it's also about managing your police department. That's the best way I can describe it. Um it is not a fast-paced game. It is actually a much slower game than even XCOM, which I know should, and rightfully so, probably turn off a lot of people to it. Um, you are, you're following the story of a main character, Nash, who uh, 
uh, is a former police chief. I, I, I don't honestly know completely where the story is going. Uh, he's hiding from something. He comes to this new town. He's helping out the new interim police chief uh, to manage the police force. There's some leaps of faith and in, and in, and in how they get to this part. I I find kind of pretty much ridiculous because it would never happen that way. But uh, needless to say, you are kind of in charge of a uh, a set squad uh, within the police department. Uh, there is the police chief or interim police chief Lily, who also has her department. And uh, so you 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 have your officers on your squad. You will do certain things and manage them, and and allow them to take time off or tell them no, they can't take time off. That you need them to be working. Um, certain things will that you do will affect some of the police on your in your squad, and they will become rebellious to you. So they represent that by the the different officers either wearing their their police uniform hats. Or not. So if they don't have a hat on, you know that they are not, in a sense, kind of an allegiance to you. And what ends up happening is uh, officers that are not in allegiance to you uh, sometimes will refuse to go on calls if they don't have backup. They will uh, just do what they want to do when it comes time. So if you have them on your squad as you're going to, say, infiltrate a drug bust, they will just – you can't control them. They run off and do their own thing. And so – uh, you have your your characters you're controlling during the turn-based stuff, but then these random you know cops that are they're not going to listen to your orders. They just go and do their own police work you know within the setting, which can be a benefit, or it can hurt you because maybe you're trying to go in stealthily at first, and they just go in all you know guns blazing and set the whole thing off you know going crazy. Um, it is uh, if you lose officers, they stay dead. Uh, you know, and it's interesting because you'll have a funeral for them and you have to decide whether you, you know, fund the funeral or you just let them be buried and you'll have officers that want to attend their funeral and you have to, you know, say yes or no to attending the funeral. And if you tell them no, that may affect their, their camaraderie with you. Um, so I, 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 there's something about this game though. I've been enjoying it. Yeah. Even though everything about this game, it doesn't do any one thing great. Like the story and the cutscenes are they're they're well voice acted, but they're a little over the top at times, and and the story itself isn't quite gelling with me yet. And then the managing of the police officers. I mean, literally, you're just looking at a map of the police city, and you're seeing the cop. You're seeing calls come in that are like nine one one calls. And you have to assign officers to go out and and react to those. And all you're doing is you're assigning the cops and then they automatically go out. And then they come back either successfully or unsuccessfully. When they get to a call, uh, it'll be one of two things. It'll be a false alarm, which means there's no action taken and they just return to the the police department. But sometimes you'll be faced with a scenario. Say there's a a woman, you know, went into the post office and got really upset about postage rates and she started beating up the postal worker. And so your officers come to the scene and they give you three choices, shoot her, tase her, or tell her to stop. And, you know, and, and I'm making those up, but I mean, that can be the kind of scenario. You pick one of those and depending upon what you pick, it may have a follow-up situation of, you know, you yell, stop. She looks up at you and then grabs a knife. What do you do? And then you'll get another set of choices to make. Um, other times it'll be like you pick the right one and, you know, you arrest the, the, the suspect without incident. Sometimes you make the wrong choice. The suspect gets away and that goes against you. At the end, end of each day, there's kind of a shift tally of how many arrests you made, how well you did versus how poorly you did. Um, and because you only have a set amount of cops during a shift – Calls start coming in faster than you can answer them. So you have to start pick and choose how you respond to the calls. Uh, anyway, so that that's it in a nutshell. I mean, it, it, it's very unique. I haven't played a game like this before. Mm-hmm. It also, like I said, it doesn't do anything great, but it does everything pretty well. And and just the combination of it all, it just has its hooks in me somehow. And I just sit there and my wife is like, isn't that boring? And I'm like, <laughs> it is, but it's not. I mean, I get caught up in trying to assign the right officers to go out on the calls. Uh, you know, 
do you do you say because you have a point value that you have to reach so depending upon the call type it may be you need to have officers with 300 experience or you have to have officers with 650 experience so the more experienced your officers are the more often they can go out with just one or two of them but if you start getting a bunch of junior officers in you need to send more of them together because their combined scores will add up uh, hopefully that made sense so if you think about it, if you know all four of us had point values associated, so Mark, you had 100, Pete had 200, Kim had 300, and I had 50. If the call came in and said that it needed to be 600 points, I could go on the call with all four of you, but you wouldn't be able to put me, Kim, and Pete together to go on the call. You'd have to be at least 600 points worth of police officers to go on the call. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it, it, it sounds probably more complicated than I'm making it out to be. But uh, at the end of the day, it's an interesting game. It was on sale, so I took a chance on it. Uh, the XCOM aspect of it is what got me to take a chance on it. Yeah. I freely admit that. But it turned out to be so much more than what I bargained for. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, while you're on about um, turn-based combat games, um, while I was off a, f- a few weeks on the, off the podcast, uh, mm-hmm. I finished Mutant Year Zero. Yes. Um, the turn-based thing, uh, which is a bit x me, but there's a bit more exploration. Uh, yeah, finally finished that and thought that was really good. Really enjoyed that. There was yeah. um, a mission not far from the end, which was whooping my ass for a bit until I'd leveled up a bit more. It had a lot of mechanised enemies, and it right. was knowing which ones down, to take down first before they alerted them. Um, I realised at the end uh, the uh, ability... I forgot what it's called now, where you electrocute them and it disables them for a few turns. Right. And also the EMP grenades, they were key to that mission. And yeah. I finally did it. I was, it was such a good feeling when I finally did it uh, because there's some massive mechs. And then if they target you, if you don't get out of the way, they will devastate you. And the, even the little little flying ones, they, they shoot rockets at you and they do a lot of damage. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I really that, enjoyed that, that. That was a surprisingly tough game. Yeah. Uh, and I played it on the also sort of like the easy mode as well. Yeah. So I yeah. after I after each battle, it would automatically replenish my ammo and reload and my health. Whereas you guys, like you and Phil, played it on the harder one, didn't you? Where you didn't get that. So, yeah, really good. Great. And it's coming question. off Game Pass soon as well, so you need to play it quick if you've got Game Pass. Right. Just one question about that. Uh, this is Police Two. Is it a yes. strategy game? I would definitely consider it a strategy game. Yeah, Pete's okay. out. I thought you'd say that. Pete's out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, there, there having is, said there's... that, he likes snooker. Uh-huh. Fair enough. He does like strategy. Come on. Come uh, on. Yeah. Snooker's a sport. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you have to be an athlete. All right. Uh, let us move on. Mark, do we have a quiz this week or no? We, we do, yeah. I've done a quiz. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sorry, we've not had a quiz for ages. Um, and it's not all my fault because... Um, when Greg was hosting, he didn't really want to run a quiz. Uh, and then no, there was only two no, of them. Wait a minute. Wait I, a I offered, minute. I offered wait to do a quiz. Wait a minute. Oh, hold right on. Out of the bus. Let's right out of the bus. Let's go back to the story. Uh, Greg, I'm feeling a bit poorly. I'm feeling a bit poorly right now. So, I mean, if you want, I can do a quiz for you. But I'm not going to make the show... That was that was the you know so am I gonna be like no yeah you need to make a quiz <laughs> come on suck it up yeah it is your fault yeah well <laughs> according to Robin hashtag AMF fucking Pete so. fired and Mark almost <laughs> fired you're too that close that close <laughs> right, look, reason. I'm playing the jingle over you because I've had enough now uh, let's get ready to What's that noise? Sorry, right, we're do- me. <laughs> something there. Uh, right, we're doing something a little bit different this week, because um, you can earn double points. Oh, so, boy. what's that noise? Audio quiz. Each week, you will hear three different audio clips. And you have to guess what game they're from. Um, now, before I just gave you ult- uh, a multiple choice option, but we're gonna have. A little bit of difference here. If you can name that without any multiple choice, you will get double points. But because obviously you can't just type it in there and give it the game away, 
If you get your phones ready, you've got to WhatsApp me the answer, if you know the answer without any clues. So I'll give you that option first. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, 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 I'm too busy making names up for people. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. What's, i got to WhatsApp you privately if yeah. uh, I have the answer without clues. Without okay. multiple choice, and you get double points. You get two points. So that Would means it... I have to have WhatsApp up on my computer. Or, is... or your phone. Well, yeah, like I can type that fast. Come on. Yeah, well, I, I, that's the only way I can think of how, how you can tell me the answer without giving it away. Because then if the other, the other <laughs> people can't get it, uh, they'll get the, the uh, uh, multiple choice. I think this is a bunch of horseshit. It's, it's, it's easy in my head. It, right. it, it sounds easy in my head. Uh, well, the famous last hard. words. Oh. All right. I'm ready. I'm right, you ready I've for the it. first one? Yes. Right, these are quite short sound clips this week because <laughs> the, these are all insults. Video game insults. And you have to tell me what game they are from. And I Boy. think they're quite easy, but I, I always say that. Right, so here's your first I one. Say that. Yeah. Right. Round one. You're right, dick bag. Oi, twat face. I can see you, dick one. Right, you've got a short period of time where you can so text I've sent me. It. It's in your inbox. WhatsApp. It's got to be there. Kim, are you, do you want multiple for choice or are you having a guess? Oh, here we go. Right, so I've got three different answers there. <laughs> right, I haven't, I, haven't got, I haven't worked this far out in front, right? So. Oh! <laughs> So if you, you get it wrong, another mistake. Yeah, if you get it wrong, do you still get the multiple choice? Well, I don't yes. Know why not. If all yes. three of us got it wrong. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, right, okay. So, right, okay, oh yeah, no, this works out well. No, no, my plan is going uh, to plan. Uh, right, so your options are A, Rebel Galaxy, B, Void Bastards, C, Starpoint Gemini 2, or D, Elite dangerous. No, you can't change oh, your answer now, Greg. Can 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 we can we hear the audio again, please? Yep. Round one. You're right, dick bag. Oi, twat face. I can see a dick one. Spoke you, fuck face. Hey, twat face. <laughs> so, so is that Rebel Galaxy? B Void Bastards. C, Starpoint Gemini 2, or D, Elite Dangerous? Uh, Greg's text me his answer. Um, Clarified my answer, yes. Mine was yeah. wrong, so, yeah. Yeah, but you can choose one of them options now, Kim, for one point. Right, and we, we still send that to you via WhatsApp, correct? You can do it, or you can put it in the show notes. That, the multiple choice bit doesn't matter. Yeah, because they sound like the little uh, gnome dudes from Fable 2. Who is it? Fable 2? Remember you you went to a spot where there was like yeah. little known things you end up killing yeah. and they they found it just like that and yeah. they cussed at you and everything. So that's yeah. okay. I, I think well, I sadly, think I like the private wasn't I think I like the private yeah, the private sending it to you via WhatsApp is better. This way Pete yeah. can't cheat and see my answer. Yeah. That is correct. Right, come on, Kim, send me an answer. A, B, I just C, or D. did it on the show now. Oh, okay. I'm looking at two different things here. Greg says text them, right. Oh, so Kim okay. says uh, Rebel Galaxy. I like the a. Yeah, Kim says Rebel Galaxy, um, which is wrong. And oh, Pete okay. and Greg have both said Void Bastards, which is correct. But Pete gets two that points because Pete got it without the multiple choice. That was my next guess, but nah. Right, I need to keep track of this. So Pete, two points. Greg, one point. <sighs> Kim, zero. I'm still ahead, so I don't care. Yeah. So, right, now we've ironed out with teething troubles, it works, does that, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we've ironed right, so it yes, out. Void buses, right, so are you ready for insult number two? Yes, to Round go. Two. <laughs> Don't tell me. You can't tell me. I'm 1,200 years old. You don't look a day over 12,000. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I know this one. That was That's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a ten points for Kim. <laughs> right. I was. That was my mother. So, yeah. give me a guess for double points. Know. I've got a, an answer from Greg. Shit. Yeah, 
I don't know if I'm right or not. I'm just, that's a stab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fuck that's funny. You have to read oh. our answer. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, right. We might have to do some half points here. Um, uh, Adley Dam's got it spot on. Right. So your options are. A, Final Fantasy XV, B, Dante's Inferno, C, DMC Definitive Edition, or D, mm. Monster Hunter World. Shit. Oh, well, can you say yeah. them again? Uh, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy XV is A, B, Dante's Inferno, C, DMC, which is Devil May Cry Definitive Edition, or D, Monster Hunter World. Oh, I'm going to go for that Right, and you've all said C, DMC, Definitive Edition, and you are all correct. Now, Greg and Kim were so close because Kim put Devil May Cry 4 and Greg put Devil May Cry 5, but right. it wasn't the numbered ones. It was the, uh, the Definitive DMC. Definitive yeah. yeah, so close. I feel like I need to give you an extra half point for that, but I'm not going to. So well, <laughs> we got the series right. because Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. My answer was the best. Yeah, oh yeah, Pete put the exorcist. <laughs> no, no, I still say mine was the best. It was my mother. and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, Kim gets a... Uh, Fair enough. Plus 10,000 yeah. She could have been an exorcist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but yeah, hardly, like, hardly Dan put Devil May Cry, which is spot on. So well done, Dan. Right. Uh, no, but he didn't say definitive edition, so no. <laughs> well, it, it's, just called uh, Devil, it's, it's just called DMC, isn't it? You did say definitive edition, I'm oh, just okay. saying. All right, well, yeah, you... all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. let's go. Right, you ready Come for on. insult number three? You ready? Here we go. Yes. Yes. Final round. Help us get an evac off world! Yeah! Go fuck yourself! You shit piles give chase, I will kill your dicks! What? What does that even Shit's... mean? You're gonna kill my dick? Well, I'll kill your dick! How about that, huh? I love that. <laughs> I knew Kim would like this one. Oh. And I didn't do it to help Kim. I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> Holy dick tits. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, Kim's getting clothes away here. Well, they still can't figure it out, so there you go. Uh. <laughs> well, if you haven't played it, it doesn't help, does it? It's an awesome game. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Kim, uh, we, Kim we can just you just WhatsApp me so I can have a point? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, you, you know I know it, Mark. Yeah, just based yeah. on what I just threw in Epic there. Epic games. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to play this for Pete and Greg. All right. So I need your answers after three. Three. That was a tick Th move, Robin. That was a tick <laughs> move. You're not having I'm a guess, Pete? You're just going to wait for the multiple choice? Yeah. Oh, I've got to wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds like an episode of Coronation Street. But... Hardly Dan knows this stuff. Hardly Dan's got it spot yeah. on again. Right, so your your options are A, Bulletstorm, B, Gears of War, C, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, or D, Borderlands 2. What was the first one again? Bulletstorm. I'm going to go for that because Gears King of War is crazy about that game. <laughs> yeah, it is It is Bulletstorm. I couldn't think of the stupid name of it. It's from Epic Games. <laughs> yeah. It's Bulletstorm. Yeah, yeah. Dick tits, you're Dick right. It's Bulletstorm. Give it away. <laughs> So, well done to Kim gets the two-pointer on that one. Yep. For getting it first off. Uh, Do I get half a point for Epic Games? Come on. He gets no, I don't, an extra... No, I don't. I don't. I know I don't. Oh, I know, I don't. <laughs> I'm begging uh, for points point. now. <laughs> it's not very becoming. So, so I've got three points altogether. What was that? No. What my Alexa, then? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> me Alexa just responded to me then. She almost like dick tits. <laughs> By the way, don't don't search for that on the internet. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly does not give you the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so uh, well done, guys. Uh, oh, well. Alright, have you are you updating the points marked or do we need to do this for ourselves? Um no. I just got ten. No, um, Greg, you got three points, so you can add yours on. Uh, nice. Kim got. 
Uh, have I done this wrong? Kim got two points. Wait, didn't I get a point for the last one? I don't know. I yeah, think I've cocked did. it she up. She did. Yeah. So that's three points. So you got two for the last one. Yeah. And I've lost track of Pete's now. I've, I've oh, I've got three. You got three as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then Kim gets a bonus of 10,000 for the answer of her mum for Absolutely. DMC. Yes! <laughs> that time that gives me but, something. But you've got to give them to Gary. <laughs> yes. And then by the time we finish this, he'll still probably beat his score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, he should get minus points. <laughs> Just saying. Like, uh, all right. Uh, we we don't have any news this week. By the way, Mark, well well done on the quiz. I like the new format of <laughs> the private answers to you. Yeah. Of guess the actual without clue, and yeah. then. Get the clue. Yeah. Perfect. I knew that's how I wanted to do it, but it's just the mechanics of it, and I wasn't sure if it'd work. But it did work. It worked well. So yeah, it worked. Yeah. Worked great. Yeah. Uh, by the way, don't blame me for not having the quiz. I'm just saying. I was being <laughs> nice to you. Yeah. Uh, all right, but we, we don't have news per se. Uh, so it, it just wasn't anything going on this past week, guys. The the video game industry is launching out all their new games. wasn't a whole lot to talk about, but we thought, you know what? Let's just talk about kind of. The upcoming, you know, last part of the year, and what games we're looking forward to. Now, obviously, there's Gears Five. There's some big hitters coming out in September, uh, early part of September for sure, uh, or just having come out, like Blair Witch, that kind of thing. Um, but what games are we, you know, kind of excited for beyond that? That you know, kind of round out the end of this year. So, uh, Kim, why don't we start with you? Okay. This is kind of hard, you know, because there's not much coming out in the last three months. But Well, I thought we were going to include September as well. For... We can yeah. include September, yeah. Just yeah. Oh, rest of this year, really. Yeah. Oh, well, if you're going to throw in September, the list just got a whole hell of a lot bigger. <laughs> so, because everything is coming out in September. So, I mean, yeah. great thing. So, I mean, Gears I... 5, yeah, we get it. Gears 5. We, we don't Borderlands 3, you know. Borderlands 3. Those are those are some obvious ones, but let's talk about Greedfall. What What is Greedfall? Greedfall is an RPG. I don't know exactly everything, but from the looks of it, it's a little like uh, Black Flag, and it's a little like Fable, it looks like oh, me. Yeah. And and if I'm perfectly honest, I'm actually looking more forward to it than I am Borderlands 3. I mean, Borderlands 3 looks great and all, but this is, like, up my alley, big time. Yeah. Because so, this is original, I, I, not just a rehash like Borderlands 3 is. Like, well, Gears, 4, I, like Gears 5 is. And... Hey, I'm not hey, going hey. down that, that road. <laughs> I'm not getting that hate started. No, but, but I think, to Kim's point about a game that's geared for Kim, uh, mm -hmm. they've the developers in interviews said that they really wanted to make a very kind of Bioware in, in the traditional Bioware format game. So mm -hmm. that's what Greedfall is. It's got the choices. It's got the, you know, the romance options, but it's, it's uh, choices that matter that impact the story. And then you've got character progression, you know, all of mm -hmm. the RPG elements that Bioware was bringing to the table with Mass Effect in the first mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Um, so uh, are Bioware good. making this? Because it looks very no, Dragon it's, Age. Uh, was it no. from Spiders? All oh, right, because yeah. it does yeah. remind me of Dragon yeah. Age. Just for the combat. It's, uh, yeah, it's something about you have to go find a, uh, a cure for a, a, a plague. I think if I read that right. So you're um, you're kind of being a little diplomat. You're going from place to place trying to find this cure. I think, and I don't know. Like I said, I, I haven't. I've read up on it, but I'm still kind of fuzzy on on the uh, details. But it it looks really good. Yeah, it does. And like I said, it's it's an RPG, and it's Fable and Dragon Age and all those and you know that that's my jam. So yeah, I thought I'm kind of torn of a, right now. Yeah, I thought it was more a pirate game, but it was a lot of like magic and stuff from mm -hmm. that. End. So yeah, it looks looks quite good. I didn't realize this was out this year as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to. I I have to figure out. You know, I have to get Borderlands for friends because I like playing Borderlands with friends. But I'm kind of torn. Going okay, that's a fifty dollar game. This is a fifty dollar game. And I just bought Torchlight three, and that was twenty dollars. So that's and that's out. That's another one. It's not oh, on the list. Oh, yeah, I know you've out. been excited it'll, for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it'll be out tomorrow. I think I can play it tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow or Wednesday? I can't remember right off the top of my head. No, today's only Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, eh. Today's technically Sunday. Freaking, <laughs> freaking weekends got me all sort of flabbergasted. But anyway, yeah, Torchlight two is out, so I've got it. So yeah, September's a big month. Thank God, Gears five is coming out on Game Pass, and I don't actually have to yeah. buy it. <laughs> 
because I'm yeah. going to be a broke, broke woman. <laughs> yeah. No. So, so what I'll do is I'm going to go through everybody's list and we'll just pick games that are kind of next up on the, on the list. So looking at Pete's, uh, Contra Rogue Corps, uh, Pete, what, what about this has you excited? Well, I'm a massive Contra fan. Uh, I've, ah. I've, okay. That well, in, in, in the UK, it was uh, Super Pro Botector. We played um, Blazing Chrome recently, me and Mike, and we streamed that on the OC, uh, on the OC podcast stream. And we, we loved it as kids, always been big fans. And it's going to be something that I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up. And it, it could be... An, it could be absolute trash, but it's it's very um, it's very similar to Val Faris, and Val Faris is something that we've seen last year at EGX, I think it was. Uh, I'm trying to cast my mind back. I, th- I think it was, yeah, I think I think it was at EGX last year, and Val Faris is exactly like Contra. It, it, it was just the same type of thing, uh, robotic. Um, Robotic characters, platform, shoot them up. Yeah, scrolling along and just shooting stuff up, and it, it, it was very much, uh, it was very much our game when we were kids. So I've been, it was, it was rumored. I think Val Faris was supposed to be released in April of this year, and it's just gone on and on and on, and it's, it's not being given an, an actual date. I don't think yet. Um, Oh, I've, I'll have to. I'll have to have another look. I've not. I've not seen it. I've not seen it pop out anywhere. So um, yeah, those two games, definite. Okay, and then Mark uh, leading our list, both uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you talk about that. What What's got you excited for that game? Um, well, I wasn't that excited to be honest. Uh, I thought it'd just be another. Like a, another Wildlands, uh, I mean, I'd played that much of Wildlands recently. I thought, eh, yeah, can't be asked. But having played the alpha technical test, um, I got a bit hooked because similar to what they did with Assassin's Creed, they've RPG the hell out of it. Uh, so there's all this more in-depth RPG elements to the Ghost Recon world now. So you can find different bits of armor, you can level up individual bits of armor, your weapons, your attachments. Um, and it, the, the, the demo was, well, not that the technical test was um, completely blew me away. It uh, wasn't what I expected. And it was, it just seemed really deep, if you know what I mean. It, there's a lot of depth to the game, the, the lot of technical aspects, uh, tactical, sorry, aspects of taking over a compound or completing a mission. It isn't as much run and gun um, as the current Ghost Recon game. So, yes, Sarah, if I get this, it will be a joint purchase with Greg on the Xbox. Unfortunately, I won't be getting it on PS4. It looks like um, you're being chased by Darth Vader. I'm just saying. Um, I'd run from Darth Vader. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. But, yeah, because um, there's not many games I'm that excited for this year, to be honest. Uh, and this is one of them, one of the two what I'm, what I'm interested in. Because I've got that many backlogs. Um, the rest of them can wait for if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, a, a game that's on my list that uh, I had actually totally forgotten was coming out. Biomutant. Um, I, oh, I yeah. I thought this was next year. Sh- I, I believe it's supposed to still be this year. Uh, it might be pushed now oh, to right, 2020, okay. but uh, it was supposed to be 2019. Um, I'm still not uh, entirely sure what this game is going to be at the end of the day. So um, it just... It, it was had kind of a similar vibe to mutant year zero yeah in in you have these you know creatures that are kind of cross-pollinated you know very humanoid uh we'll see i don't know uh, it, it, it it looks interesting the, the trailer has and the, RPG the better it, yeah. gameplay elements to it it does look really neat does this uh so yeah, yeah it, it does look interesting yeah we'll, we'll see if it actually holds form or not but uh Anyway, uh, Kim, Medieval. What what about Medieval has you excited? Well, if you remember Medieval, it came out. Oh Jesus! Uh, when the PS One or yeah, when, yeah, when the PS One yeah. came out, yeah. and uh, they're doing a remaster. And I remember this game because we had a little demo disc, and it was one of the demos on this disc. And I don't know, I think it was like the first level or something. And I remember playing it way back then, but I never actually bought the game to play it. But um, 
It's a quirky little. I mean, you're you're a skeleton, and you come back to fight. I don't know if it's zombies. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, you like pull your arm off and throw it at the, at the zombies and kill them. And it's just a quirky little little game. And it's, I don't know, like nostalgia, I guess you could say. And if it's not too damned expensive, I might, for nostalgia purposes, you know, get it and actually play it and, you know, finish okay. it. So, All right. Yeah. All right. Is this the, a complete remake or is it just a reboot like um, the recent uh, Spyro games? I, I No, I think it's an actual remaster. Right, I okay. Think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see. Yeah, we shall see indeed. Uh, Jumanji, the video game. Pete, are you friggin' serious? <laughs> come, come on! Listen. Right, okay, okay, all right. Let me let me name these people and tell me where's, if you like them or not. Barbie's Horse Adventure 2 on oh, your list? come on. Listen. Oh, come on. Juman- Jumanji's a classic movie that, okay, Robin Williams was was just phenomenal in that movie. Right. Yeah, you, you can't you can't take it that away. They from did that. not need to remake, and yet they did. No, but it was it was good. The remake I mean, was not good. It was, it was okay. Was. It was okay. But that's the same as good. It's it, it was it it give a different spin of of Jumanji, and it put it into a more recent time where yeah. they involve video games. Yeah, and. That's that's why I had to mention it as well on this podcast. And okay, who does not like The Rock? Exactly. Mm. Who does not like <laughs> Jack Black? Black. Karen. Who does not Gillard. like Kevin Hart? Exactly. Mm. Right. So <laughs> all of these characters feature in this feature in this film, and they feature in this game, who which is based not... on their right, characters. A... Movie tie-in video. Yeah, games. me. Yeah. Now. I, I... <laughs> I have to admit, I'm with Greg on this. The movies, yeah, they're quirky, they're fun, they're a, a bit of humour, but the video game looks so generic and boring. Oh, but you do. I've, I've just got to give it a go. All right. No, okay. I, I mean, look, this is your game to be excited about. I'm not. I, 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 I know this, I'm, I'm going to drop this at the end of the year and say, yeah, this is my game of the year. <laughs> I'm going to fly over to England to punch you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, it, it you. You was you were scared about thirty minutes ago talking about Gears Pop being great. Uh, I didn't say great. Uh, okay, what did you say then? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. This don't piss is off not the ginger. As, uh, yeah. I know. I know. I don't want to piss off the beard. It might come back. Uh, <laughs> all right, Jumanji the video game up for game of the year. Uh, Kim, also <laughs> my puzzling questionable look to you ghostbusters remaster yeah i remember a few years ago it was on the 360 they had a ghostbusters yeah. game and it was voiced by the original ghostbusters yeah i completed it yeah it was quite good yeah they're doing a remaster of it yeah so was that? and i a movie remake into a video game <laughs> uh, <laughs> interesting <laughs> okay but it, it it was good, and I I've got actually still got the 360, but I don't think it's backwards compatible, and it might be. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. But anyway, yeah, I I like the Ghostbusters. I didn't even though I had Chris Hemsworth in it. I didn't really like the new Ghostbusters all that well. I don't but know. There's Maybe a reason it's... for that. There's, well, yeah, and it never, I, I mean, didn't need to be made. Just like the remake no. of Jumanji. I <laughs> you know I, I like Bill Murray and and you know Dan Aykroyd and all that. I like the original Ghostbusters. So yeah, I've not seen the remake. You're not missing out. Mm-hmm. That's and like you said, it, it, it's like the end of the year, so it was kind of tough scrounging the list of fine games I was excited for, but this is one of them. So. All right, okay. There you go. To each their own. I'm still looking out for Rambo, the remake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Space uh, Invaders are remastered. Let's see. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. Uh, do mis- you have faith? Do you have faith that this is going to be good? Yeah, because it's Respawn, and I love... The Titanfall games, I've not played it, but I've seen and I'm uh, impressed with Apex Legends, uh, and I know Respawn will do it proud. Um, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the only other game I am willing to purchase this year because money's tight this year. So Ghost Recon and this are my two purchases this year, and I am quite <laughs> excited for this because I love Star Wars. I've repeated myself okay. a few times. Is that a movie, Mark? <sighs> Uh, no, uh, it isn't. It is, <laughs> it is an independent story made just for this game. It may be uh, off a movie franchise, 
But on... snap, snap, snap. Take that. Oh, yeah. boy, here we go. Based on a movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If you're not careful, Pete, I'll be doing a close-up of your nostrils next. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave my nostrils out of it, please. So, you, anyone else uh... interested in this? Uh, I, I, by de facto, apparently I've just spent money on this game. But I didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to go uh, halves on this, Greg. Please. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I am interested in this game. Uh, I, I mean, cautiously interested, right? Because EA right now has been on a weird roller coaster. Uh, Respawn seems to be turning the ship for them a little bit, or turning the the narrative that they can, you know, have studios that make good games. Um, we'll see. We shall so see. It's Game Pass then, wouldn't EA release this on day one or around the time that it was due for release? No. I, I no. can't see EA doing that. EA will probably do incentives on EA Access and then it'll eventually yeah. come to EA Access, but they will Yeah, it'll, it'll come to EA got their own Access. Thing, they've like got their own thing, haven't they? Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the last game, well, actually, Pete, uh, real quickly, Life is Strange 2, Episode 5. Yeah, I've I've not I've not played uh, I've played one episode of Life is Strange two and I've left the rest on purpose because uh, it's it's an episodic game um, mm -hmm. and it, it's I, I, I played number one and I thought it was a fantastic uh, graphic adventure video game I loved it I thought I, I don't know what what it was I just I, I thought it was just brilliant I thought it was well put together I enjoyed the story and I thought I'll play number two and purely because I had to wait again, like Walking Dead for the episodes to come. I thought, Do you know what? I'll just leave uh, this until it all, it all comes out. And the last episode is due, I believe in December. Um, yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm waiting until it all comes out. I'll just buy the package then and play it all throughout because it's a great story. I just didn't want to get to that point where I'm I'm waiting again right. uh, and I forget the story and I have to play it back or uh, look at YouTube for some recaps. I just I just didn't want to do that. So uh, I'll uh, mm. yeah I'm looking forward to it. It's it's if you've not played both of these games, you really do need to. And there's also Before the Storm, uh, which is available on um, Game Pass, which I've not I've not played yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. I, the episodic stuff I prefer to play one after another. I hate having to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing, nothing worse than having to wait a few yeah. months, a month, yeah. or in some cases like a year. I remember uh, depending upon what happened. Uh, I don't know. Kim was in the same boat. Waiting for that last episode of The Wolf Among Us was oh torture. my god, yes, right? absolute but torture. This it's is torture this... waiting for a Game of Thrones episode for a, for a week. <laughs> so to, to play yeah, but a week's a week. This this was months, wasn't it, Kim? Exactly. Yeah. If you play mm -hmm. if you play a decent video game and you're really uh, enwrapped in the story, you, you, you don't want to wait that long for it. So you best just wait for it all just to be released and then just yeah. s just give it all, all. Yeah, all of your love in right. one well, extent. It, it, interestingly enough, you guys actually did make me think about there was one story worth talking about and that is telltale yep. getting revived oh yeah uh, <laughs> apparently yeah we, we we did skip over this it was kind of a a rumor i don't know if it's been officially confirmed but i think it has been but that, that basically some former telltale employees have basically been able to uh kind of put together a studio i think they have purchased the rights to the wolf among us yeah they um, have the the so, rights to it and another one, uh, so, Batman. Yeah. So the, Batman. the the latest um, Walking Dead, what when when um, Telltale went tits up, Skydance sort of like paid for the finish of that. Have Skydance mm -hmm. got anything to do with this new new sort of like revitalization of Telltale? I don't know. Oh, no, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, don't I know mean, I, I briefly was. saw it on Twitter and then I didn't see any more mentions of it. But the 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 gist is that Telltale is not quote-unquote dead that there's going to be you know a, a revival of the studio and in ah. particular wolf among us is going to be kind of a center point for that revival hardly done in the chat Please. has put that um but not actually getting revived there's two guys who have bought the rights from the uh, failed okay. company and they didn't actually work for um uh, telltale games so. oh interesting okay well so, hopefully hmm? they, they put together a team to carry that uh, that ip on yeah, I, I was going to say, is there okay. some rumor then that they're in talks with somebody else to get to get these games revived? Or uh, there's 
There's something, yeah. I've, yeah, I've seen right. it too. It was on Twitter, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Well, the last game to be excited about, uh, based off of our list from what we're excited about, is The Outer Worlds. The mm-hmm. more I see of this game, the more I'm excited. They, they just released a fairly lengthy trailer. Yeah. Uh, that just talks about kind of the, the vastness of the outer worlds. And uh, it is it is very Fallout, you know, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas in, in some of its look and feel. But on different um, planets. <laughs> right, with space yeah. exploration and, and just kind of that sci-fi uh, space-faring vibe to it. Um, I cannot wait for this game. I think this potentially sneaks in as game of the year uh, in a lot of, you know, for a yeah. lot of people. So, based on just the positive vibes it's getting. Given Bethesda's, um, let's say, uh, issues with Fallout 76, I know this is Obsidian who are making this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but Bethesda's sort of like greenlighted it and they're publishing it. Do you think this is going to have similar issues or do you think because it's an Obsidian game it's going to sort of like put Bethesda back on the map with gamers? Uh, well, I, this I is going to put does. Bethesda on the map. Uh, this actually is a Microsoft property now. Oh, right. That's, so, so yeah, Bethesda this is going to Yeah, no, this is going to come to Game Pass. This was originally shown at Bethesda's mm-hmm. uh, E3, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know where it was originally shown, but uh, Obsidian... Oh, of course, Obsidian they, have been bought out, haven't they? Yeah, yeah oh, Obsidian yeah, has been yeah. bought up by Microsoft. Right. So so this right now is is going to be multi-platform. They did say that the first this game they would continue to make it multi-platform. Uh, any sequel to this, which it already sounds like they're very much going to make a sequel, uh, will be exclusive to the Xbox platform, whatever that becomes. I or, think you know. uh, I'm getting mixed up. The Bethesda one is that something yeah. like Starfield, something like Starfield. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Starfield. getting mixed Starfield. up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mistake. Yeah, I'm getting mixed yeah. up. But but I do think. The failures of Bethesda with Fallout 76, and I say failures, I mean, I think it has still a, a decent fan base that are playing through it, but the the issues that they have had recently with the RPG side of it, I think really opens the door for this game to be very successful because this game is hearkening back to the Fallout New Vegas RPG single-player story-driven narrative that so many people wanted in in a new Fallout game, and Fallout seventy six, of course, was not that at all. It was yeah. a multiplayer online, massive world kind of game. So um, I think there's a window here for them to come in and really kind of recapture that market, so to speak. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Um, so it's interesting you're saying it's a Microsoft thing because on YouTube was um, announcement trailers for PS four, but that was probably before right. Obsidian was purchased. Exactly. Wonder, this game was in the works. Mm. So just like just like Microsoft did with, uh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the the guys who did send you is they're, they're doing that bleeding edge or something. Like well, bleeding edge is going to be, I think, Microsoft only. But right, okay. basically, Microsoft on several games for the studios that they have purchased, the games that they are creating that they already had in the works with publishing deals with other other companies or they were already making it multi-platform, uh, and it had been announced as multi-platform, Microsoft's basically saying it will stay multi-platform and it will launch out to everybody. So um, that's where you know the Outer Worlds is, is going to be going to everything. Uh, same thing with Wasteland 3. I believe that is going to be on multiple platforms. It's not right. going to be just an Xbox exclusive game. So um, they're, they're honoring those deals. All right, okay, uh, cool. And in similar fashion, by the way, this, speaking of Sony buying Insomniac from back in Gamescom, um, Sony, or sorry, uh, Insomniac is developing an Oculus Rift VR title that's exclusive to the Oculus Rift. That's still coming out, still going to get developed and, and pushed out by them for that platform. Uh, and then, of course, everything they do after that would likely be Sony exclusive. So, yeah. No, I, I think it's important these companies, when they do purchase these studios, if they have games they've announced that are multi-platform, they, they do honor that because the gamers themselves end up getting hurt by something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's even coming out on Switch as well, Outer Worlds. Yep. Mm, yep. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I think I think that the, the <laughs> thought here also is, hey, we make this title, it's hugely successful, and then the next iteration is going to be exclusive to certain platforms. And so... You're kind of forcing the hand of, you know, the consumer that maybe likes it. They're going to have to pick and choose. 
Uh, but that's me speculating. Mm. All right. Talking about mm-hmm. Oculus. Yes. I'm really hoping for my 40th birthday that I get enough money to purchase one of these. I'm going to buy a Quest, I think. An nope. Oculus Quest. I'm really... I still have <sighs> no desire. No, I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it You'd is. You'd be listening to Stu too much. No. <laughs> I don't I, I do, yeah. I do like, I do, I do like beats. I like the know. idea of it being wireless and not hooked up with a yeah. million wires. But yeah, do you know what? Do you know what I saw it as well? The table tennis. Like, right. I, I love table tennis. Right. I love it. Like my like snooker. That's yeah. that's how much I like table tennis, and I, I, the, I'm I'm all up for that. The Oculus Quest. That is the one that is uh, completely self-contained. Yeah. So yeah, technically. Yeah. It's not going to be able to run everything. Because no, no, it has, not, it has to yeah. have its own version because you get it off yeah. the off its own internal store online right. sort of thing. But it, VR porn should be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently, it's not about, I'm not bothered about VR <laughs> porn. They are, they are Those first two videos said something like, uh, yeah, it's that VR porn you want to look at. No, it's not. I want to play table tennis. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. For sure. All right, mm. uh, let us move on. Uh, Kim, Kim, we have a, a release calendar September 1st oh. through the 8th. Let's talk okay. about games coming up. Oh, let's shit. let's start wrapping this show up a little here. All right, yeah, because we're, you know. It's apparently a chatty. I said it was going to be a short show. I completely I know, lied. Right? <laughs> All righty. Um, yes, your new releases for September 1st through the 8th are Catherine Full Body for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One on September 3rd. Warsaw, play it for the PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC on the 4th. River City Girls for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Switch, and PC on the 5th. Uh, Creature creature in the Well, for some other reason I thought that was a creator. Ha! Creature in the Well for the Xbox One, Switch, and PC on the 6th. Monster Hunter World Iceborne for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC also on the 6th. And NBA 2K20 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC also on the 6th. And Torchlight's coming out tomorrow or Tuesday. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go. And yep. early access for Gears 5. Just saying. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Ultimate you. Edition comes out earlier, doesn't it? Six. Yes. Is it? Yep. Wow. Yep. The sixth. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't make the sixth. I'm gutted. I'm doing something <laughs> on the sixth. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no. I just thought Saturday. No, I've got the kids on Saturday. It's going to have to be Sunday. I'm playing it all day Sunday. Stick them in the closet. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mark. Uh, Trials Rising. Yep. Still going. Yeah, it's still yep. going. We, we've not many tracks left now, but yeah, we're still going. Uh, so we've just completed challenge number 25, which is um, A Pretty Good Wall was a track name. And here are the top 10. In 10th place, they were all in the pub, so no one in that position. Uh, in 9th place... Uh, Martin C, 1984, with 117, 464. 8th place, The Legit Chinny, 116, 743. 7th place, Gamer Girl 27, 116, 227. In 6th place was me, with 115, 827. 5th place, Chubster 999, 115, 548. In 4th place, Murphy's Law, with 111, 884. Bit of a drop there. In third place is Snoogans the Ninja <laughs> with 111.066. Second place is Womble with 109.081. And this week's top spot goes to <sighs> Play and Skills, Lewis Raimondo, 108.357. Cracking time, so well done to Lewis. Overachiever. Yeah. Lewis has been crushing it this week. Yeah. It, well, the past couple of weeks. Yeah. Kim. You got. You were so close to beating Mark. Yeah, I saying, know, and on. I was well, fourth for a while, and, the, and you know. I, I had a go at first, and you had me beat, and even Pete had beat me, and I thought, I'm just going to race a couple more against Pete's ghost, and I managed to beat him, and it, I, I, I coincidentally beat you as well, Kim. So, yeah, tough. I right. didn't even hey, play it this week. Know. You you must have played it beforehand, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that's the same for Martin as well, because his time looks like a just like a quick run yeah. through time. Agreed. Yeah, but you snooze, uh, you, you, know, you, you snooze, you lose. His, I yep. his loss, in. I gain. Yeah, you snooze, you lose. Uh, so, so. <laughs> challenge number 26 is on Siberian Express. 
Ooh, um, that's using to... the Rhino bike. I've not even seen this, this yet. I've not put this a time on this. This is a tough track. Is it? This is yeah. hard, yeah. yeah. Um, there's, only gonna be, there's only four tracks left on this now. All right. Yeah. Let's do it, people. Siberian Express. All right. So, sadly, I'm retiring the Resogon Challenge because for two <gasps> reasons. One, the, the, the weekly challenges in, built into that game, some of them were insanely hard and it was putting a lot of people off. And it was getting to the point where there was only like one or two people putting scores in each week. And that was usually Tuscan, who was like getting millions and millions of points and someone else would get a couple of thousand. So I think we'll retire that off now because it's quite an old right. game as well. So what I've decided to just test the waters with, um, last month's, and I'm saying last month's, like it was only from yesterday wasn't it august mm -hmm. august ps plus game was wipeout omega with all the wipeout games so i'm going to do some challenges on there so the first challenge um is game mode wipeout hd and it's in time trial mode and the track is veneta k and the speed class is venom i'll put all this on the facebook group um and in the whatsapp chat because it's a lot to take in. But yeah, if you go into I'm in the game menu, if you go in race race box option, you can select them them items. And um, the the class of vehicle, there's different classes and they all have pros and cons, so it doesn't matter which class of vehicle as long as the speed class is a venom, the actual make of the vehicle doesn't matter. And just put your fastest time on. I'll collect the scores at 7 pm as usual on Sunday evenings. And we'll see how that goes for a few weeks and see if we get any interest on that. Cool. I'll, I'll have to try it. Yeah, I've I've not really yeah. played much Wipeout, and I've I played a bit today to test this out. I quite like it. It's quite a nice game, and the um, the remastered visuals on this are really stunning. So yeah, cool. All right, excellent. Well, uh, we... another game we're going to retire is the Golf Club <laughs> uh, 2019. Aww. Yeah, no, Gary D. <laughs> Let's just talk about Mr. D. Felice. Mr. Oh, we need to have a golf club challenge. Yeah. I'll head it up. I'll do it all. Blah, 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 blah. No. He's nowhere to be seen. He's too busy with all his fantasy football leagues. Not only fantasy yeah, football, but it, he's, it, he, he also wants to do fantasy f hockey. Uh, like Gary. That. I mean, yeah, no. I don't think he misses his Garcast podcast, does he? No, apparently not. Yeah. So uh, the golf club challenge is being officially put to rest. Uh, the society is still up. There are challenges and events still in there, so people can still play. But we're not going to track the golf club challenge anymore. We'll just let it be what it is. Oh, uh, and, and you know what? Screw you, Gary. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, all right. Pete. Victory received. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So this yeah. is a this is a contest that we run and give cash for. How about that? So you can have twenty dollars US, fifteen pound uh, UK. So it's a gift card on uh, PlayStation Network, Xbox yeah. Live, or Steam. So the contest this one is running between the first of July and September the thirtieth. All you need to do is complete a video game. Once you've completed it and the credits roll up on the screen, you take a selfie with those credits and your beautiful face. And then all you need to do is send it onto uh, Twitter and you could send it to at OC underscore podcast with the hashtag of victory achieved. And that's pretty much it. It's as easy as that. Complete a video game, stick it on Twitter and you can win some money. How's that sound? It sounds it sounds crazy. lovely. Of course it does. So, <laughs> the two beautiful people that completed their games uh, this week are Fletch, good old Dan, Fletch ninety, and he completed Oxen Free, and then Ooh, good game. Nice. Yeah, I like that game. Caliburn M uh, completed Fantasia. I've not heard of that game. Was that one of the early Connect games? Yeah, I mm, think yep. I think by the way, this is a situation of Robin did not update the Victor's Achieve because I think this is from last week. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah. yeah. And and the irony is right now I have a picture of Robin's face on my laptop because I'm <laughs> getting streamed at random pictures from my online albums. And uh yeah, the there was a really ugly face and that was Robin's. So, um, oh. yeah. 
Mm. 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 Robin, Robin failing us. Yeah. It's Mark's fault, probably. Yeah, it probably is Mark's um, fault. Ultimately, it is Mark's fault. Hashtag AMF. Yeah. But he, he has he has been there uh, tweeting these, though, as he? the, the, the um, victories achieved. I'm sure he has. I've seen them. Well, yeah, why are you having a quick scan through it? Just Robin kept putting like it's been a bit of a running joke. Like everything's been my fault recently. Uh, right. And then Robin kept putting this hashtag AMF, and we're all thinking, what the hell's this? And uh, oh, I, I just, fault. I just replied. Said, "What, what, what does that mean, Robin? What does AMF stand for?" And she said, "All Mark's fault." And then yes. he was sending videos of all his family members <laughs> one by one, and Robin had said to them, "Whose fault is it?" And they all go, "It's Mark's fault." <laughs> so, yeah, well played, Robin. Yeah, sorry, well sweet corn. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, sweet corn. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's let's mention a couple then. Hang on, I've yeah. got a few. Yes. Here. Let's, let's, let's 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 do Robin's let's job properly. properly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you were handling this, so Robin's Robin fault. Yeah, nope. when you were when you were handling this, when Robin was on vacation, it was all very smooth. Uh, I just want to say you did a fantastic job. And since uh, Robin has come back into taking over, uh, uh, you know, again, Mark's fault. But um, it seems like the quality <laughs> is, is dropped off. I don't know how Mark has influenced this, but somehow, clearly, Mark, <laughs> your fault for yeah. doing this. And now he's buttering up the ginger. So. <laughs> You never want to butter up the ginger. You don't know what you're going to get out of that. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a dicey proposition. Yeah. You just need butter when it comes to ginger. Right. So, uh, John Mouse uh, completed Prototype 2. Sent a okay. beautiful uh, action pack photo of his, himself. And uh, there was one more, Cannon, uh, Cannonburn M. So, uh, yeah. yeah. With, right. the, with the right person. But he completed um mutant year zero oh like i did oh, well yeah. done yeah great game yeah by the way sarah rc gc also said she should have a victory chief for wolfenstein oh sorry that's for next week she's gonna say sarah, don't next confuse week. me i'm easily confused you're you're, you're killing me you're killing me smalls you're killing me it's mark's fault yeah. it's mark's fault <laughs> <laughs> for those people that completed those games you have this you all have a victory's achieved. Victory's achieved. You have one. Victory's achieved. Look at that. All right. Couldn't have done that any go. better. Well done. Well done. Well timed. Mark, you're making up for the sloppy, you know, <laughs> sloppy show. Yeah. Uh, all right. We are at that time. We are going to wrap this show up because we have talked way far longer than I ever thought we were going to talk today. For being a this. short show. Yeah, I know. A short show. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, anyway, be part of the conversation. Join us on Twitch, on Mixer, on YouTube. All you got to do, do a search for OC Podcast. Super simple. You will find us, and then you can join us for an mm -hmm. evening dessert or dinner, uh, or supper, I guess is what you call it in the UK, at 9 p.m. Uh, you can join us for lunch on the West Coast at 1 p.m. You can hang out for happy hour on the East Coast at 4 p.m., uh, or late happy hour on Easter Island, 6 p.m., or for coffee and uh, and donuts at 7 a.m. in Australia. So there you go. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, iTunes, Twitch, Stitcher, TuneIn, all those different things where you can download a podcast, we're there. Download the podcast. Do it while you're at the gym. There's no better thing than being at the gym and feeling like you're dying and then hearing Mark in your ears just – pushing you on just that much further uh so yeah so that's that's what i had to say to that and mark we should play that audio clip right now of nicole who by the way doing better she's got her voice back and she sounds Yay. just like this fuck off that one. <laughs> oh, you mean this one <laughs> that's exactly what she sounds like you. as a matter of fact see where i'm going with this follow us on twitter at oc underscore podcast Check us out on Facebook, fb.ocpod.com, or email us, podcast at ocpod.com. We'd love to hear from you. Tomorrow! <laughs> I can do that on command. <laughs> Tomorrow! All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We really do appreciate you guys being part of our community, our family. That's what this is all about. Uh, Kim, why don't you start off with some shout-outs? Maybe give some of the uh, 
the 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 chat uh, or the chat as we affectionately call them some love. That that was my plan. Um, yes, we've had uh, a few shatters today. Let's see. On my list are Scott Stubby, Hardly Dan, RCGC, Commander Fruit, Lurks, S1 Fega, Cycle Motion, Host Me Ravel. Might be a bot. Uh, <laughs> Unix, <laughs> Unix Chat also might be a bot. Uh, Mira- Mirage underscore Leonardo 84, Community Showcase, uh, Dunas BH, I guess. Uh, Electrical Longboard, VNK, Virgo Pros, and Zane Kyber. So uh, thanks for coming along and chatting in the chat. So <laughs> Chatting in the chat. <laughs> Okay. This show's going down a little big time. Shat, shat us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, there's that. Uh, shout out to you guys. It's always fun. I wasn't on here last weekend, and it felt kind of strange not to be on here. So um, I'm back. Not nearly as gone as long as Mark. No. But, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, other than that, uh, well, here's to a, hopefully a, a good week and a, a better month. Let's hope. So, um, yeah. How about you there, uh, Ginger? Hmm. It's just where I fuck it up. I always get told off about like the end of it and not passing it on, and I'll probably do it every single week now on purpose just to just to be a pain in the ass. So well, I've got go. I've got three people to shout out. Hardly Dan. Uh, I'd, the 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 more Hardly Dan is talking in the chat, the more um, I really need to meet this person. Um, it's been talking some great stuff in the chat, and I want to play your Oculus Quest. Please bring it to EGX. He did say that he was going to bring it along, so uh, that's ace. And just to let you know as well, Dan, that I've fired up uh, Blair Witch myself tonight, uh, just just to start off with, and I'll probably talk about that next week um, if Greg yeah, lets I, me on. I I will, and I also will be talking about that next week. So there we go. There's okay, that. the next person I want to shout out is um, my stepdaughter Kira. Uh, she's made me. This, she's painted this. Check this out. Look, you might. Oh, see this. Nice. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. She's painted it on a. Uh, oh shit! There's like there's like a blurred background in there. Oh my right. god. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's just take this off. Right. Unblur my background. Here we go. There you go. Look at that. That's cool. It's almost nice. like a Mario a Mario cereal box cover. It's perfect. It's, it's wicked, good. isn't it? Yeah. It's so, good. Yeah. Oil painting, straight on canvas. It's textured as well. The little bushes on the side. It's yeah. It's, you can feel it. That needs to be stuff. pride and place on your gaming wall, Pete. That is yes. nice, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. That is yeah. Nice. yeah, share it to Key. Uh, thanks. She's a good one. I love her. Um, and the next one is to my brother. Bless him. Happy birthday, Mike. Thanks for inviting me to your yeah. your yes. little uh, gathering. And um, yeah, yeah. enough he's, of that. He's a great person. But yeah, enough of that. Yeah, let's not look. Okay, let's not go too far. He's a great person, to stuff. I mean, pass you know, it off, he's, pass it off. He's okay. Pass it, pass it on. Oh, hang on. Me, I forgot to do something. Oh yeah, pass it on. Uh, Greg, can you close the show? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I know. I'm sorry. So close. <laughs> so close. It's fault. Voice team there. Uh, yeah. Go on. Um, no, you, you can find me on all the gaming platforms and on Twitter as uh, Mechanics. And I want to shout out um, an anti. Well, Greg did an anti shout out to Gary early, but I want to shout him out for propers uh, because he is once again going to captain the Extra Life team. Um, mm-hmm. Being a bit later this year setting it up, but it's not well Novemberish anyway. Um, so. Yeah, watch out very soon for all of us begging for your donations uh, for this year's Extra Life. Uh, I want to shout out uh, all you guys and the whole podcast crew for um, letting me have so much time off without giving me too much stick. I've had a bit of stick. Uh, everything's been my fault. But yeah, um, I just needed that little bit of time off. I've had a few issues. And thank you very much. And um, as Robin would say, yeah, my podcast family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just give you a bit of advice, Mark. Yeah. I'd probably just um, I'd, I'd, I'd drop sweet corn from your diet. <sighs> I didn't. I wasn't even here when that was brought up. I don't even know why I'm called <laughs> sweet corn. I think you actually started it. You <laughs> mentioned it. Yeah, it was the ginger's fault. But it they <laughs> float. It's, it's, it's okay, sweet corn. It's okay. Yeah. We appreciate you being on the show. We appreciate you. I don't. You know. 
<laughs> got Kim snorting really bad. No, it's, she's gone. And I don't mind. I don't mind sweet corn. It's well going in. It's coming yeah, anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So and and shout out to um, everyone in the chat tonight. It's been very busy in the chat. Uh, Hardly Dan's been giving a lot of input and Sarah and that. So yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll let you uh, take us out, Greg. All right. Uh, first of all, Pete, you're going to be sadly disappointed. <laughs> Because Harley Dan has informed us that he does not have a, a, a Oculus Quest. He just has an Oculus Rift. So apparently uh, you're no longer interested in uh, playing with that. I know he's got a really powerful, even, he's got a powerful gaming piece. He's, he's got okay. a powerful gaming laptop. So he'll probably, rather than having to lug a massive uh, desktop around with you just to use the Oculus, he's, no, he's, cool. he'll probably better use that on his laptop, I'd have thought. All I right, guess. So, so Pete, here's the deal. To give you the simulated experience of the quest, we will duct tape the laptop to your back. We will plug you into the Oculus Rift and let you walk around mindlessly. Wow. Uh, yeah. Here for you. Yeah. Uh, and again, sweet corn, don't worry. We are, we are, we've got your back. We are here for you every day of the week. And then uh, an extra one. Uh, Kim, as always, fun to podcast with you. Thank you for being the the wonderful woman that you are and being just dealing with us Aww. uh shout out to all of our shatters of course we thank everybody there um i feel like i should be giving robin a lot of grief right now but i mean <laughs> I, I feel like it's too obvious everybody has already said how great the show sounds right now and i think we are coming around to the realization that robin's dodgy internet fix where he was oh, trying to circumvent paying for internet access yeah. it, I think it's not exactly working the way he thought it would. It's that better or... than what he had before, though. It but is. It's, but it's it not is. perfect. Yeah, it's it's definitely not perfect, and possibly this could be because sun surfing late night uh, material. Just mm. saying. Uh, and, and it's probably done me a favor him not being on tonight because I would have had a lot more. It's my fault stick tonight because Robin's the begins right. to get all that. So. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. Fair enough. It is your fault, though. Uh, all right. In fact, it's your fault because he couldn't be here. That's yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. Fact, right? yeah. I, I, I gave his family all the uh, the shits and the pukes. No, they got the plague. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And you were yeah, said that's way, anthrax over. Uh, dear United Kingdom, uh, if in fact the plague does outbreak, it is Mark's fault because Robin did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. That's it. We are done. Let's wrap this up. Mark, play that funky music right about now. If I can find it. It's been that long. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Overseas Connection Podcast. time next week.